Today we are on our way to go and meet him. I am filled with trepidation because mom says he's a very important man in the society. And his name is Mr. Jason Ihodalo. That sure is a serious and smiling son if you ask me. Do you think he's going to like me? Do you think that I could fit in as an Ihodalo? And I must keep all my apprehensions at bay. Because mom says I have to be at my best behavior. But why? To impress that, I suppose. I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. Wish me luck, dear diary. Yours truly apprehensive, Hilab. Let's go. Remember, we must be punctual. Hillary! Come on, will you stop dragging your feet and get ready? What is wrong with you? I don't want to go again, Mom. I don't want to meet my dad. Why? Listen, Hillary, you mustn't be disagreeable. Okay? We talked about this, didn't we? I don't want to be late for this appointment with your dad. Don't worry, everything will be alright. I promise. Sorry, my name is Susan. I'm here to see Mr. Jason. I have an appointment with him. Good morning, Mr. Jason. Yeah, good morning, Mrs. Jason. There's a lady here to see you, sir. She said her name is Miss Susan, and that she had an appointment with you. All right. Uh, it's okay. Tell her. Bring her to come see her. All right, sir. And one more thing. While you're at it, I need you to make me breakfast. I'll have my breakfast in here so I have quite a lot to do. And you can make it for you just in case my guest decides to. We'll do that, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bessie. Seems to be more nervous than I am. 
and then wipe it. Sounded, um, should I say, apprehensive over the phone, demanding that um, that is quite urgent that we see today. So, what is it? There's something I omitted to tell you 14 years ago. I feel it's time I did. I mean, it won't be fair if I hide it any further. Something you didn't tell me 14 years ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from the way this is coming, why do I have a feeling that, that I won't like it one bit? Jason, I don't give a damn about your likes or dislikes. It makes no difference to me. All right, um, let's hear it. This thing that has um, brought you to the point where you have to um, break a silence of so many years. Let's hear it. What is the secret that you have been keeping from this? You have a daughter, Jay. She's 14, and her name is Hilary. going to be so mad at me. But, but, but we could pay for it, ma'am. It's all right, child. It's all right. Come, sit down there. Not to worry, okay? I'm sure nobody... It's just that this is what I'm saying. You need to... You need Mr. Jason's wife. Mr. Jason has a wife. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Hi, my child. Mr. Jason had your wife. And she said... Oh. What's a relief? I mean... That's so sad. It's very sad, my child. But as I was saying, this girl is belong to you. And Mr. Jason insists that you leave them displayed here, just as she'd like to have them in her name. Well, that's very noble of Mr. Jason, isn't it? Wow. I'll say very noble of him. Yes. Oh. Um, so. Um, Mr. Jason and his late wife, did they have any children? Oh, unfortunately, no. Enough of these questions, okay? Um, why don't you follow me to the kitchen 
and I'll have some snacks and a drink. That way I can keep my eyes on the thing. I can't believe you, Susan. I don't believe you. I don't believe this. Because it beats me to think that you can keep the existence of my child for so many years without mentioning it to me. Not even for one day. Then how could you? How could you be so mean? Huh? You left me no choice, Jason. Like the proverbial mommy's boy. You, you abandoned me. You left me stranded. Susan, we talked about this. All right, we talked about it and I thought you understood. There was nothing for me to understand, Jason. You made your choice 14 years ago to abandon me and what we thought. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like you have also made the choice to abandon your daughter and run away with some spineless man. Because you want to get married. That is so unfair for you to say, Jason. You had no right. Because for 40 years of my life, I dedicated my everything to care and love Hillary. There's nothing wrong for me to decide right now to let her father try his hand at raising his own daughter. Oh, no, there is everything wrong with it, my dear. There is everything wrong with it, especially when you are the woman you have been coerced. Really, what kind of man have you been dealing with? Huh? The kind that will tell you to abandon your child as the only condition to marry. Is that it? Don't you dare insult me, Jesus. Don't you dare. Because the character of my fiance is nothing for you to fear. Well, it's not. No, it's not. It is really right. What is eating you up? Is it that you would rather Hillary didn't exist? Perhaps you are afraid of what you almighty matriarch of a man would do when she finds out that she finally has a child with that low class got of trash. I'll be gone. Or oh, isn't that what she gave to me? Stop it. Right. You see, this has nothing whatsoever to do with her. This has everything to do with your mother. Why else are you refusing to accept your own child? But you think I'm lying? Because I'm ready, right now, to carry out the paternity test to prove that Larry is your child. So just stop it! Right, stop! Right, I'm not saying that she's not mine. I'm not saying that she's not my child. I'm not saying that you are lying. Right, I am just a man who is amazed at a level of cowardice. How wicked can you be to have kept to yourself, just to yourself, the existence of my 14 year old daughter? One day to tell me that I have a 14 year old. And henceforth, you will leave it. Why? Because you're jetting up to go get married to some spineless man. What kind of a human being are you? That is my husband. The kind that you told me. in this house. I mean, this plate in China is very expensive. And at the rate you guys are going, 
we might end up not having any more quality plates in this house. Ah, Miss Janice, I'm sorry. But I did not hear of any crash. Oh, did you hear me? No, me neither. Well, if you didn't hear that, you must have some hearing difficulties. Okay, Miss Janice. And you think the right thing for you to do is to stand there? Please go and investigate what's happening. I mean, you, you maids are so slow in this house. It's all right, Mother. Uh, I'll do that then. Oh, please run along already. Huh. And you? Who are you? And who asked you to speak when Vanessa is speaking? Oh, sorry, Miss Vanessa, but Mrs. Smith asked me a question, so let me go to the answer. Really? And I suppose you are one of the maids' daughter of Mrs. Big's grandchild. Ah, I should think that Jason should tell us maids not to bring in your well, cultured, dirty, and I've kept children into my home, especially not into the kitchen to avoid food contamination. You know, yeah. you into this house. Um, sorry, Miss Vanessa, but I don't think that is in fact going to be possible. And why? You thought that she was a brat. Why is the question, Miss Vanessa? I'm not a brat. My name is Hilary. Hilary Godaro. Mr. Jason's daughter. What? Did I 
to see her correctly. Is she saying the truth? Answer me this minute, it's Jay saying, talk to me. Is this brat your daughter, as in biological? Yes, Vanessa. I have a 40 year old daughter. Oh. And from where I stand, she looks nothing like a brat to me. Jason, this is an outrage of all stupid things to do. This is the limit, Jason. I don't believe you, damn it! Jason, I think we will leave you and your bimbo. I think we will leave you two to sort things out. This is apparent that some adults do not know that some words are better than some words. Surely you can't make that sweetheart. Just take a look around. Your daddy's house is like a palace. And you're going to be the princess of this palace. Huh? The house is beautiful, I know, but it's full of mean people like like Miss Vanessa. I can't stay here, Mom. Please let me go with you. Surely you don't mean that, baby. Because you're going to stay. And I know you will like it. Just just relax. Okay? Come here. Come. Come, baby, come. Do you like it? Okay. Sorry, I'm always coming around. You're not serious, Doris. Mm -hmm. I mean, Miss Vanessa can't be threatening to leave our boss. This is big. After her big declaration, she marched upstairs like an outraged mother hen that, <laughs> that an ink wanted to come and tell her children. Oh my god. I'm sure she's going to thank her back. I just wish for her sake that she does not end up doing unreasonable things. I mean, they can always reach an understanding over the child like two mature adults. Because if she goes out like that, Good woman. Good woman. Are you not happy she's leaving? For me, it is good readers to bad rubbish. And I cannot stand her overbearing attitude. Hey! Doris. Ma? Doris. Ma? <laughs> I've always told you, this is a It will end you up in trouble. In one day, this house. Professor, you stop being irrational. What is wrong with you? How dare you, Jason? How dare you to think that you have an already grown-up daughter and you kept it away from me? My God! If you are listening to anything that I am saying, do you hear me the first time I just told you? I just found out why I have a 14-year-old daughter and I never knew she existed, Vanessa. Is it that you don't believe me? Jason, I feel betrayed. Not only have you betrayed me, you have betrayed the memory of your late wife's union. Oh, stop words. this and stop being melodramatic. What, what is wrong with you? Really? Well, I've had enough of it already. I have! There is no way on earth I will accept the fact that my fiancé has an already grown-up daughter. Come on, Jason, think of it. The idea is totally inconceivable. I can't take it. I can't. Really? So what are you going to do? What does it look like I'm doing, darling? I am leaving. I am calling off this engagement. I mean, I can take the fact that you are a widower. Yes, but a widower with a grown-up daughter? Hell no, I can't. I am leaving. I can't do this anymore, Jason. I'm leaving. Listen, we, we can talk this through. Jason, I am We can leaving. talk this through. Vanessa? Let me guess. You want her to stay? 
the dogs are knocking. Let me try to Donuts, I have one too. Hey, this is your mouth. So, no, no, let me do trouble one day. Let me ask you something, eh? My mouth, my mouth, my mouth. What is wrong with this one now that I have seen? Do you not know that she is a spoiled brat? Eh? Let me say, I'm not here with you. You're not here with me at all. You're not here with me. She will come back next time. Don't say she will be busting her around. No, don't say she will be busting her around. She will come back and be busting her around. Miss Bill, Mrs. Biggs, I want scrambled eggs and bread. Mrs. Biggs! I can take the same one. Like two, like two adults. Jason, I am not ready to talk anything through with you. I am leaving. You're leaving. Just like that. You're leaving. Do you realize what this would do? to our image? Do you realize that people will talk? Do you realize that a lot of people would be upset by this singular act of yours? Have you even considered how your dad would feel? Jason, my dad would have to understand. Come on. I mean, there is nobody in their freaking mind that would expect me to marry you and be a mother to that skinny brat that looks like a cross between a saucer fly and a mosquito. When I haven't even thought of being a mother myself. I mean, you know, choose to talk. I'm leaving. Doris! Yes, ma'am. Oh, fat dog maid. I am leaving. Get my bags. Yes, oh. <clears throat> Even stand it. I can't even stand children not to talk about impudence one and Jason expects me to stay in this house. Doris, get my bags. Oh, oh. Get that. And you all fool, open that gate. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess it's time I formally introduce the both of you. Yeah, I think so too. Hilary, this is your father, Jason Igodalo. Hi, Mr. Jason. I'm pleased to meet you. to be a good girl, okay? Make me proud. And never ever forget that I love you. 
I will always, always love you. Jason, you take care of my daughter. But she's all I need. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Dear diary, I really miss mom very much. Maybe the best thing I should do is to keep myself locked up in here in the room until Mr. Jason will have no choice than to send for mom to come and get me. <sighs> oh, but what if I go hungry? I want to die of hunger striking me because I always wonder what those people who died of hunger strike were thinking. Anyways, I guess locking myself up is not going to work. So what, what must I do? Very good. Mr. Jason actually has a love child from an affair he had several years ago. I could not have believed it even if someone had told me. I believe what stars. That Mr. Jason is capable of parenting a child or what? You know everything. Eh? Mr. Jason is always so serious. No hair gets out of the way. Even his wife was around him, they were always so stuffed up. And now this scandal, and I knew nothing about it. Doris. Hey. Doris. Yeah. Mind your mouth. I'm sure Mr. Jason never intended the child to be a secret affair. Just that he never knew the child existed in the first place. I don't know, it's the same thing if you ask me. I'm not going to ask you. You don't know who asked you. Eh? Good morning, please. Good morning. It's been how old was the weekend? Why was so so uncomfortable? Well, you will not believe it. I would have been as worried as anything you could think of if you want to change up the things that happened with this house yesterday. Hey, could be please. Pay no mind to Joris. Who doesn't know her love for this cousin? Just Mr. Jason for a single year old daughter who goes back to this house. Why he can't go Mr. Jason has a 14 year old secret of child. <laughs> You don't know I would not stand her with a proper attitude. Oh, enough gossip for the money. Doris, 
Go and take breakfast to Hilary's room. I'm sure she must prefer to eat her room for now. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Biggs. I'm heard you, Mrs. Biggs. All correct, Mrs. Biggs. Yes, the boss lady. I'm going. I'm going. Mm. What did you want to ask? What did you want to ask? Notice my disappearance yet. No matter what happens, I must get away. I must find mom before Mr. Jason finds me. See if you can add some weight. Thank you, Mrs. You know you look like tiny mosquitoes. <laughs> I've told you that I'm a certified leper. I, uh, my skinny bones cannot take any fat in my body. Send this off. Eat. Let's just see what you become. She's not here. Who is not here? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I want to have a woman. She's not there. I assumed she's. Yeah, with two chatter. Oh, Doris, as you can see, she's not here with me. So, um, well, maybe um, father and daughter have started to have breakfast together just to catch up. Okay, we'll be having a point here. Yeah. 
Do you know Well, uh, in that case, we I hope you don't mind if I have to go at this one, huh? because it is better it stays in the after one than Doris. Doris. Uh, this kind of food is not meant for people of your size. And men of nowadays they don't like women big sized women. No <laughs> worry. I'm not trying to huh? I'll come to you for some answer because it is very obvious that you have money to give me Mr. Big by your side. You don't mind it on your side. <laughs> Doris. Please, can you be a judge between both of us now? <laughs> Just tell me, between both of us, who looks like an elephant? Please don't put me in. No, you don't need to judge. Don't give any answer. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> One day, somebody's going to bust open this house. Bust your thumb! And then we'll get it. stop! Good morning, Mr. Jason. Good morning, Doris. Sir. How are you, Mrs. Big? Mr. Jason, no work today, sir. Uh, no work today, Mrs. Big. Oh. I'm taking today off. So, you know, so I'm going to with my daughter. Father and daughter getting up. We get to know each other better. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Great. I do understand. I think this is a wise decision to get in. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of my daughter, where is she? Can you... Can you get that to come back? Ah, uh, Doris. Huh? What is it? Hilary already had breakfast without... No, sir. Without me. Is that what it is? No, sir. I was not there, so I assumed she was with you. She wasn't in her room when you went there. No, sir. So, how could she be that? That's a confusing answer. What? Are you saying she knows she, she, she it? What stupid question is that, Doris? Are you out of the senses if I knew where my daughter is? Would I be asking you? I'm asking you to, Mrs. Yes, Mr. Jason. Don't guess me. I'm asking you as to where is my daughter. Now, I'm assuming that if you had looked around and you didn't see Hillary in this house, you would have at least looked for her. And then come tell me that my daughter is missing or something. So, where is she? I'm sorry, Mr. Jason. Just like Doris said, we thought she was with you, sir. Now, you two tell me that what I'm thinking is. No, sir. It's not right. No, sir. I hope my daughter is not missing because if she is missing, I will hold both of you responsible for this. Doris! Not here, and she just like this. Why would you leave? No, probably from another space. I don't know. Sir, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I had an idea that Miss Hillary was planning on running away. I swear to God, I had no idea. No, 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 no
For me yet. I don't even know the way to Mom's place. What am I going to do now? Who is not going to see? I just knew that God was a God. You know, she was a God and I didn't know what to do all the time with him. Um, no, no, no way am I going back to, to a father who thinks who thinks his daughter is a body. What do you call it? 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 What do you call
It doesn't look to me that will make you happy at all. I don't think so, sir. I think we should just um, act somewhere. Get out of the car. Alright? Yes, sir. If you think it's the best thing to do, sir. Act somewhere, get out of the car. But first off, don't you think we should check that land about one more time? Yeah, I think so too, because uh, there are too many people there. We'll check that round about one more time. Alright. Oh no. Why are you calling me for this? I, I hope no problem, sir. Oh, Susan is Hilary's mother. It is called motherly instinct, sir. Most uh, mothers, you know, when their children are in danger. Yeah, really? Yes, sir. And then you think that is something to smile about? No, why are you laughing? You think it's funny? Huh? No, you want me to take her cause and then tell her what her daughter is missing? Is it? You think it's everything you laugh about? Now listen, I'm gonna to get to that roundabout. Alright? Yes, sir. Get to that roundabout. I park somewhere. Alright? Now when I park, you go left, I go right. We are not looking for a normal 14 year old girl wearing a dress. You and I know we're looking for Hilary. She's probably going to be wearing a t shirt and a jeans with a knapsack. Do you understand me? It's good. Alright. Okay.
Oh, baby! <laughs> How are you? I like what I No, 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 sit down, wait for me, wait for me. I'm from Jasper, I'm my friends. My friends in Japan, I'm from i I'm in charge of this, this area. You know what I mean? This area. You are just Jasper. Hey, no, don't, don't, don't you worry. Don't, 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 don't you worry. Mwa, I like the small, small girls. Mwa, I like the small, small Never give it, you it, you need it, you enjoy. Hey, baby, I'm a person, I'm a person, I'm bad, I'm not sitting down. I can't wait What is wrong with you? Give me the weapon, I'm making this. The weapon, I'm making this. The weapon, I'm making this. What is it? Why are you trying to put some, some, some in my, in my garden? What is your problem? What is your problem? I'm talking to you. Why, why are you taking her away? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Smoke out of the What is your problem? I will blow you in this neighborhood. Let me check again. Let me check again. You, you, you know who I am? Your father. Your father. Something they want you for head. Your father, Papa. I will, I will deal with you. Listen, listen. To God who made me, I will finish you. Your father. This is, I will go, go, go. That's how we go here. That's what I, that's my job. Hi. I'm so sorry I ran away to the I'm not going to scold you. But I need you to know about what you did. You're stupid. You will be looking everywhere for you here, and that is why I want to know why you did what you did. Wait. Did I do something wrong to you? Was it something? What then is it? I need to know what it is so that we can avoid a repeat of this next time. What is it? Well, when I was called to say good morning to you this morning, I overheard you the conversation. How much, how much of a burden I was to you and you didn't know what to do with me. I tell you, I tell you, you don't know what you leave. You used to know that there is a call of the engagement as well. Because honestly, I was terribly, terribly choked out with that relationship. I couldn't deal that anymore. And then the thing is, I was, you know, hanging in there, playing around because my mother had approved of her. You know, but even at that, I, I, I just knew that God was in God. You know, she was in God and I didn't know what to do with her all the time. But hey, Honestly, thank God that things are going to be right. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, who's lost now? Mars, man. What? You mean if I heard my conversation and you thought it was about you? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have! You should have been deep struck for the first place. You should have listened to the end of my conversation. I was talking about Vanessa. That had absolutely nothing to do with you. 
So we all lost our minds in this house and Dear diary, it's me again. I want to say that today was the most horrifying day of my life. I should never ever have run away. But in the course of today's event, I have learned two things. One is that it is never good to run away from one's problem. It's better to face the problem head on. Because you never know it might turn out not to be as threatening as it had seemed initially. The second lesson is that one should never eat job on other people's conversation because then you're, you'd run the risk, of, the risk of construing what you get to hear. Like the old cliche goes, if job was never do hear good of themselves. I am very relieved to be back. Yours truly repentant, Hilary. I'm not so little, Mrs. Big. I'm 14 and my mom says I'm a big girl. Is that so? Mm -hmm. In that case, talk to me that big girls is mostly in between months. Sorry, Mrs. Big. I'm already half with you. That's all right. Meanwhile, I have to drop this and run to the dining and try to be saved in two minutes. Alright, Mrs. Biggs, excuse me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. 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 Good Mrs. Biggs, I'm going to say they are ready to take breakfast now. Of course, boss lady. Oh, yeah. You're enjoying. Good morning.
Yeah, I don't have to ask him if he's to is to your life because I can see that um yeah, Jane never beat on it. Yes, Mr. Jason. Mrs. Biggs is a very good cook. The best I must say. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that um I think so. I hope I'm safe, Mr. Jason. You are safe now. Why do you insist um, on calling me, Mr. Jason? I mean, yesterday when I found you, you, you called me that. Um. And then suddenly you, you, you reverted to calling me, Mr. Jason. Why? Well, the reason I call you Mr. Jason is because you're practically a, a stranger to me and um, I have to know you well enough and know if I can trust you enough. You do understand Mr. Jason? Yeah. I suppose I understand the life. So you want to tell me what happened yesterday? Has you called me that? Um, well, um, yesterday I was, I was terrified and I was just so relieved when you came to my rescue. Let's just say it's an emotional outburst. Interesting. Well, you start a little bit. Better. I'm so, sorry if I offended you, Mr. Jason. That's all right. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Obi. How are you? Very well, sir. Mr. Obi, thank you very much for yesterday. I never have got to thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad to help anytime, please. Thank you. Can I have the bag now? Sure. All right. We have to go. Okay. I promise now. Are you good to go? I will. I'm not going to solve any trouble. I don't think I'm going to run away again. I'm not. Not this time. Not anymore. You promise me. I promise. For your honor. For my honor. I take your watch for it now. All right, then. Have a great day. I sure will. Okay. Bye, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Obi. And please drive carefully. Okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. There's a pool outside, and the water looks very inviting. Oh. Why don't you try it out? I'll try to do that now. So, what are you going to swim in? I think I have a pair of shorts.
Understand. Oh. So just need to call, okay? Of course, you know. Call him. So how are you feeling now? I'm not feeling good. Yes. Why are you doing for me? I have to jump into this very pool. Why are you doing for Hey, somebody will lose their job today. Oh, oh. Doris, make the call now. Is this all they sent? Hello? Hello, Doris? What are you... Um, calm down, calm down. What are you saying? What are you talking about? How is that? Huh? All right, you know what? You know what? Listen to me. Just calm down, all right? I'll be on my way right away. Excuse me, sir. Is something wrong? Council law meetings for today, all right? I have an emergency. I have my daughter almost drunk. Council law meetings. Just go ahead. Obi! Obi! Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that I'm beginning to, you know, pick points with you, I am thinking that um, pretty soon you would learn to call me that, right? Um, okay. Maybe it's just some other thing. Me, your father. I'm doing okay. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. I hear you. You know what? I'll just um, I'll just let you rest. Okay. While I will take all of this up, off and yeah, um, you should relax as well because you connect me. Tonight, or don't you know that that is what your administration is called? 
А я теперь все спиты обломалась, мне к мини Там пойду, вот здесь. 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 Вот здесWhat's up with the situation? What what do we do? Because you can't tell me that all that blood is nothing. Sir, that's not it for that very more. The blood you saw was between the scenarios. What we Dear diary, I feel very red today, uncomfortable and self-conscious. I suppose that must be how every girl feels the first time they get their menstrual period. Good morning, Miss Hillary. How are you? Mm. I'm sure that everyone already knows what had to me last night. Are you okay? Good morning, Auntie Doris. Morning, son. It's time to do my cleaning, so... It's a bit. Huh? It's good, it's good. Hey, sweetheart. 
Good morning, Mr. Jason. I see we're back to Mr. Jason. Huh? Something like that. So I should take him that um, yesterday night when you called me, Daddy. It was another outburst of emotion. I said. All right, I guess that. So good morning to you too, you know. How was your night? <laughs> and now you found Mrs. Bates. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Shall we? Sweetheart, you alright? Yes, Mr. Jason, I'm, I'm fine. You're fine, but you're not eating. Don't you want to eat? Aren't you in the mood for food this morning? Huh? What is the problem? You're not eating. So I can do you, Hilary! Will you quit this one and tell me what the problem is? What is it? You didn't hear me the first time? Miss Hillary, what is happening? Miss Hillary, wait, wait! Miss Hillary, Miss Hillary. Oh. Miss Hillary, why would you make me run after you like that? I'm not as young as I used to be. Now look at it, my old bones are groaning. Oh, you're really not that old. Neither am I as young as you are. So, tell me, what got you upset, my dear? Oh, sorry. I don't think Mr. Jason likes me anymore. But, why would you say that? He's your father, isn't he? Yes. But I think you would have been happier if I carry a boy. I know he doesn't show it, but... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hilary, this is the most foolish thing I have heard in all my life. Because he loves you. <laughs> oh my god, you will never stop to have this, really. <laughs> oh my goodness. You called me, Mr. Bitty? Yes, sir. Uh... Mrs. Biggs, I called you. I'm sorry I um, pulled you out. Your chose. I just need you to to bring me up to speed about a few things. No problem, sir. It's a bargain. Mrs. Biggs. Yes, Mr. Biggs. What else transpired last night apart from the matter with my daughter's menstrual period? Oh, nothing happened, sir. Oh, why did you ask me for this? Are you sure nothing happened? Nothing. Okay. She's acting strange. Yes, it is. How? Oh. Nothing really obvious, but. Um, Quite disturbing, if you ask me. You know, she, uh, you know, she barely looked at me this morning. She was peeking at her food. You could tell that there was something bothering her. And I turned, I didn't really take that time when I raised my voice. She busted the tears. And that's where we were like. I think the young man is having a hard time. I said to the father, he is now a very young woman. How? After I helped Miss Hillary clean up, she made a surprising outburst. She said, 
that she never wanted to be a girl. That she hated the whole idea. And that she wished God had created her a boy. How is that? What got her to think like that? I think it's due to a misconception she had that if she were a boy, that you and your family you willingly welcome her into your family now. You said that? Yes, Mr. Jason, she said that to me. Are you sure she said that? Yes, Mr. Jason, she said that to me, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm? Please forgive me. Oh, but you see, what you said is totally unbelievable. I know, I'm sorry. But my mom told me that she sent a message across to Mr. Jason that she gave that to a baby girl. But he refused to come. Neither did any member of his family. But why would he do that? I don't understand. Because the Jadino family wants a first chance to be a baby boy and to hold the family name and dynasty. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But the reason I know is that my boss, Mr. Jason, is a very kind man. Very, very kind. And I do not think he will be that wicked not to love and appreciate you, his own daughter. You want to think of it to his only child. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I am. Hmm? I have never heard of a more stupid notion. Why on earth? Why on earth? Did she get that from? Sir, I can't say. The way you think about it, Mr. Jason, you realize that Miss Hillary's tomboy behavior must have stemmed from that very misconception, sir. You know, I can't tell you that I understand why. But I show you that it looks like raising an adolescent girl is... It's way more than I ever gained for Mrs. Biggs. I am at my own time. I tell you. Mr. Jason, I believe you do just fine, sir. You know, just like a little flower plant needs a dose of water and sunshine every day. What I think making the pillar needs is lots of love and attention. And you will see, sir, she will bloom into a very beautiful plant, sir. Quite deep. Love and attention, you said. Quite deep. <laughs> All right, I remain. Henceforth, it will be a little dose of love and attention. Let her come along. I want to thank you so much for your wisdom. Much appreciated. You can go.
I called you out here because I found a need to speak with you. But first off, I want to apologize for screaming at you during breakfast. I'm sorry. You know, I'm just. I'm just new to this whole being a dad thing and while I'm at it, I am also trying my very best to be the best dad I can be to you. So when you have a lot bottled up inside and I see myself as your best friend and you're not opening up to tell me what the problem is. I confused. I get frustrated. I get worked up. I get irritated to the point where I raise my voice. You know, just to just to let out steam. And because I love you and the less you love. Just because it's your way to to proud my emotions and maybe exhale. I don't mean to scare you, but that's how most of it are. But having said that, I'm sorry. Alright. I I didn't know that. You know, I I didn't have I didn't have I also didn't have a dad for long. I know. And that is why I've decided to take the day off to be with you. Yes. You know, to, to go out with you, to see places with you. Oh, well, you can call it um, <laughs> getting to know each other and each other. Father and daughter. Do you really mean that? Yes, I do. Don't you? Oh, have some yes, I do. But I'm looking at those meetings and I'm looking at my very beautiful daughter. And I can tell you for sure that they are not as beautiful. They are being as important as my lovely daughter. So I'd rather. Change it to something really, really nice so that daddy can take you to somewhere when you're in special. Why are you suggesting? I want to show you something. I'm sorry. And I love you. <laughs> Me too. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Yes, it's me, Jason. Um, I need you to help me get a very good interior decorator. Very urgent. Very urgent. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're the best. Much appreciated. Yeah, you too. Bye. Everything 
What photos? So I just need to be there, so we're out together. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, ah, that was very cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ah, and it was for this one to have fun. Oh, Canada, I just need to be with you. Hey! I didn't even make me happy. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have fun. Have fun. I'm ready, Mr. Jason. How do I look? Um, you look okay. You look, mm -hmm. you look all right. But I still think you're in that need of of a change of wardrobe. There's nothing wrong with my clothes. Your dad insists that um, we stop by boutique first. All right, so hop in. All right, Let's go. whatever you say, Mr. Jason. <laughs> Sit down first. Yeah. For safety reasons, to avoid serious injury during an accident. I'm happy you know. I'm going to have a snap. <laughs> yeah. Great.
Hey, Vanessa, how are you doing? But have I formally introduced my daughter Hilary to you? You mean your little brat? Well, I have been introduced to her before. I don't think I need a recap. If you must excuse me. Thank you. Oh my. She's still a star. Oh yeah, she is. Does to marry Um... Let's just say. <laughs> and you saved my life. <laughs> After you. <laughs> you like her? Mm -hmm. Alright. Jason, mm. so this is where the rich and famous come to it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, given the start of the business, it can be seen that it's expensive. So I would just say that um, it's basically those who can afford it. My point exactly. That's <laughs> for the rich. <laughs> All right, Miss Marty, you win. <laughs> so you, 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 you come here because you can afford Hmm. Tell you what. I come here because um, this, the food you have here is is made under proper hygiene conditions. It's it's nice. Yeah. And then yes, yes, Hillary, I can afford it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what? But the food is good, but I still prefer Mrs. Big's cooking. You think she's the best, huh? She's a better cook any time, any day. Yeah, just like I believe that you're the best daughter. Anyone. Kind of I wish for. Good thing I'm making me blood. <laughs> Well, that's such a sweet thing to say, Mr. Jason. I just have no choice. I hope you understand. Aren't you going to answer that call, Mr. Jason? No, it's, it's not important. I don't think the person thinks the same way. Oh well, maybe, but it's it's not important. So I don't have to call the person back. Okay. Yep. All right. It's our time together. 
And what is more important to me right now is to be with my beautiful daughter. All right, so this is business. It can be taken care of later. All right, Mr. <laughs> so I guess we should come here more often. Huh? Since you like it. Yeah. Great, right, that's, that's good. At least we found somewhere you like. Stray. All right, here we are now. Okay, now this is a hurried work. Mm -hmm. I hope you like it. Now this was done in a hurry yeah. while we're out having fun. Okay, so don't judge daddy now. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so we're gonna have a quick countdown. All right, um, mm -hmm. calm down. <laughs> From five to one. All right, so five, okay. four, yeah. three. Two, mm -hmm. one.
What's up, boy? Yeah, boy, good. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? We ain't never gonna stop, boy. All the bad guys don't wanna crap, boy. They don't wanna see the DP. Well, I'm fine. You were calling me. I'm not gonna soon get DP. You're a Nigerian number. Where did you come from? Yes, I am. Mm, I can't wait. What is it? I think I'm pregnant. Well, Justin, you have to calm down. For all we know, this could be a um, false alarm. Dr. Sam, as much as your comment is pacifying, I'm worried. Because from what you just told me right now, it's either she's sexually active or she's pregnant. So at the end of the day, I just might have to deal with something. Well, uh, that is the possibility, but um, it's um, unlikely. I pray this is not true. Doctor, I pray this is not true. Because if it is true, I'm going to have to deal with the person responsible for this. Um, just, just, you see, the nurse has taken your daughter for, you know, pregnancy test. And this, the result will soon be out. So why don't you calm down? My point exactly, that has been a couple of minutes ago. When, when are we going to get this result? Well, not very long, I can assure you. But meanwhile, why don't you tell me how you... You know, became a father of a 14 year old teenager. Dr. Sam, trust me, you don't want to crack that nuts today. <laughs> it's a long story. It's a long story. Someday we shall talk about it. <laughs> it's okay. Are you not the fourth little black girl? Huh? Imagine. Um, you can now go. Go to the doctor's office. Your father is there waiting for you. So both of you can stay there and wait for him. You have to do it, okay? Can you imagine? Was that how she sounded to the boy that got her pregnant? At the age of 14, and she's already pregnant. Eh? What do these three children eh? So well, you have it. So that's my story. That's how I um, found out that I have a 14 year old daughter. I, I must tell you that living with her has been quite, um, it's been quite an enlightening experience for me, even as a young man, you know. You begin to see life differently. I know. Children are such a joy. And I must say I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Have you told your mother of the existence of a teenage granddaughter? That one, uh, no. <laughs> no, I haven't um, gotten around to doing that yet, but I will, I will. I am sure she will be glad to, to know about it as soon as possible. Well, I suppose, but uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. But, uh, I will, I'll tell her, yeah? yeah? Hey, sweetheart. Come, 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 come
come sit with daddy. It's okay. All right. Great moving. Wonderful. So. Mm -hmm. It's all right. She'll be fine. Okay. That's why we're here. All right. And that's why the doctor is here as well. Ooh. Nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> very lovely. Thank you, Uncle Barry. And I know they will all look very beautiful on you. Your dad must have spent a lot of his money to stay with you. Of course he did. I believe he's you know, showing me how much he loves. Mm hmm. So, you in turn must make him proud by not putting him to shame, by getting him to trouble. Okay. Trouble and shame, I don't understand. Mm, you know, you you just best in your period, so I know nobody must have talked to you about this. Oh, what? See, now that you have best in your period, mm, uh -huh. you have to be very careful so as not to put your family to shame by getting into trouble. And by that, I mean allowing a boy to get you pregnant. And that could happen if you as much as let a boy touch you or hold your hand, you just get pregnant. Mm. Auntie Doris, when I was starting school that you would get pregnant with fertilization. What stupid useless fertilization? Those your teachers that don't know anything. The only thing they know is how to stuff money into, into, the, into their pockets. Okay, the fertilization they are talking about is not between a boy and a girl, a man and a woman. Is it between cassava and flour? Listen to me. Hmm? If you as much as allow a boy to touch you or a man to hold your hand, bam, my heavenly God, you're pregnant. But a story is what about my dad? He seems to say a man your dad is the only exception to this rule. Every other boy must.
Daddy touched me. Oh, although I tried to... Yeah, mom. I don't know. I just need to talk to you for a few minutes. Oh, that was a little spoiled brat girl that came for her pregnancy test. You say that. The strangely, the boss rushed Miss Hillary out of the house, and they are still not back. Is that all? And it never occurred to you that they may have gone to visit someone. You just rush into conclusions, Doris. Huh? This is this. You did not see the way Mr. Jason rushed to Miss Hillary out of the house. I think they have a fire. Nothing is wrong, Doris. Just go back to your duties. Let's go. Seriously, Dad, I am so glad that I'm not pregnant. I don't want you to feel ashamed of me as a daughter. I'll never be ashamed of you. All right? You're my daughter. And I love you. Whether good or bad, Daddy loves you. How bad it would have looked if you were pregnant, but I would still love you.
understand what you're saying and where you're coming from. But if you've been very observant, you would realize that times have changed. Right? These kids are a lot smarter now, so you're, you're safer with, if you tell them the truth about things like this and then guide them judiciously. All right? <laughs> Probably in, in your time and in my time, Tears like that could work. I probably stay us away from such vices, but now we would, we'd have to pull them closer and then know the truth. Okay? It will never happen again, sir. It's all right. And then, for what it's worth, I want to let you know that I appreciate um, you and Mrs. B's whole lot in trying to help me raise my daughter. I mean, given the fact that I'm a single man, it's kind of really, really tasking, bringing up that brother. I see you making efforts to ensure that uh, she goes up the right way. Thank you so much. I mean, I couldn't have wished for, for a more caring staff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We are, we are going to continue doing our best. And thank you very much for not sacking me this time, too. <laughs> thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hello, Jason. Yeah, what was that I heard when I called you earlier on? I heard a child's voice um, calling you dad and saying she's pregnant. <laughs> I am not kidding you. Out, but look, I have a 14-year-old daughter. What? I know. I know you're shocked. Listen. <laughs> no, no, come on. You're, you're, you're kidding, right? Look, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a funny situation at all. All right, she just ran up to me and told me that she's pregnant. All right, uh, I'll be damned. I was blown away when I heard the childish voice or the child's voice, rather, making such claims. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, we'll talk about it later. But hey, you have a lot of explaining to do. Be very ready for me, okay? All right. Okay. No problem. Attitude. He made it very clear that I had no right to touch you. You know, you being the boss's daughter and me coming from the lower class and all. Come Take on. it though, I understand. I mean, what else do you expect from the rich? Come on, Eddie! Wait! It's not what you think. I can explain. Do you mind telling me why you rushed up as if the house was on fire? Um, the thing is, Mrs. Biggs, I, I had gone to inform my dad that I thought I was pregnant. What? God? Oh, my child. What gave you such a nonsense idea? Wow, oh, it's hilarious, I know, Mrs. Biggs. But the thing is, and Ferris told me that since I've I'm fighting my period. That if a boy has not touched me, I would automatically get pregnant. 
Doris what? This girl will not succeed in giving me heart attack in this house. Eh? For goodness sake, that tale is as old and outdated as my great grandmother. How would I have known that this is this? When she told me the reproductive um, lessons my teacher taught me was, was the first one. Well, that. Imagine that, my dear. Eh? And your poor daddy. He must have had a heart attack when you told him that. Eh, he's mighty relieved now that he just a false alarm. But I am mighty relieved too. But thank God, Doris. Doris, I get this thing correct. I don't know from which planet he. Ha! God. Maybe just share hope, okay? Ah, okay now, Miss. Miss, I'm better. told me what an adventure the both of you had today over the advice I gave you. It was an adventure indeed, Auntie Doris. Mm. But Cherry was wrong. But of course it was wrong. Everybody knows it's wrong. Even our mothers knew it was wrong when they told us. But it's just a theory they used to put fear in us when we were growing up. I understand, Auntie Doris. I hope my dad wasn't too hard on you. Really. At least this time he didn't sack me for my mischief. <laughs> um, I understand, Auntie Doris. Thank you. I know you meant good. But from now onwards, I'll take everything you tell me with a little pinch of salt. But you need to. We are not supposed to trust everything we hear. Mm. That is not the true characteristic of a pure Nida girl. Oh, <laughs> and I just got to be yeah. at the door. Yeah. All right. <laughs> eventful things that happened today. You know, it's just too funny for me to pass up. You know, the rich are going, you're going to end up on the rise, and you know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite eventful if you ask me, but I'm hoping that you don't have to scare me like that. Ah, don't worry, that I won't. You, you actually handled it quite more than I expected. Yeah, just like you handled it in a very mature manner. Just like an adult. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I came to keep you in mind. Special friend. Remember. What you talking about? 
nyanyiin. Hey, this is Vix. Yes, my love. Do you need me for something? I was about coming down anyway. No, no, no. Actually, I came to go to you. You know something? What? I'm going to surprise you for you. I know it's something you're going to love. <laughs> I did, baby. <laughs> so much. I did too. But I'm really happy to know you have been a good girl. I don't know, I did a great job raising you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> From where I stand, Susan, I beg to disappoint. Welcome back, Dad. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? It was very fine. See, when we came to this. So, I see. What are you doing in my house, sir? <clears throat> Jason, you left me no choice. After you refused to pick my calls, reply my messages, I had no other option but to come here and visit my daughter. I'm her mother after all. Your daughter? <laughs> oh, please don't be a laugh because you don't even understand the meaning of that word motherhood. No, I don't think you do. Don't sit down there and make me laugh because you're not a comedian. Because if I'm to judge you by the turnout of events since this girl came into my house, then you have failed as a mother. And what exactly do you mean by that? Jason! You heard me the first time, didn't you? If you're not comfortable with my tone of voice, if you're not comfortable with my language, get out of my house. This one, it's You're not going to fight. Please don't fight. I want to have it, so. It's okay, we're not fighting, alright? Um, your mom and I will just go upstairs to my study and, you know, have a little talk as adults, okay? So why don't you just go to the kitchen? I've got a few things for you. Some candy bars. Look at me, honey. Ice cream. I have that with um, Mrs. Vicks. All right. Waiting for you to come back then. All right. Come, on, baby.
Doris. Doris, Doris, Doris. This is unbearable for me. How dare you condemn me like a simple thing or something much worse than that? Wait, I hope you're not trying to restrict me from seeing my dad because it will never happen. I will never let you. Stop writing in my house. Stop it. What is wrong with you? Not like you care much about that girl. No? After all, you left her and dumped her away from you to run off with a man, your child. What? Is it that the man to the other man went south and suddenly you're trying to get back into my good books and my doing so you have to pretend to care about Hilary? Is that it? Enough! No, no. Bastard! here today isn't my fault at all. What? Just please... What? Are you not saying that it was my fault? Can you is that what you're trying to say? Shut up! She could hear you, you know. Yes, she could hear me, but why are you saying it's my Please fault? shut up! It wasn't my fault! This is just, I'm going to break your neck. Shut up! Yes, shut up! Goodness, this is just, what is wrong with you? You shouldn't say it's my fault because it's not my fault! Yes, Leave me alone! Yes. Oh no, no, I'm not going! My baby needs yeah. me! I'm going to get you a few out. Jason, yes. if you out. think I am going to leave this house with my daughter in that condition, then you have another thing coming. You thought I was condition. Look at you. Nice try. So you suddenly think that this little show of unspared will change my impression of who you are. Listen to me, Susan. I'm not standing here. You left me with that pressure. Right, so don't go thinking that this little drama you created here. You suddenly begin to think that you care about my daughter. Like, no, get out. You think I care what you care? No, I don't. I give no damn if you think that I care about my daughter or not. But as her mother, I have rights. Oh, yes, you have rights. A matter that I am going to deal with in a few days. With my daughter, of course. Meaning? And I intend to strip you of every right you have to have access to my daughter. And my 
condition they will be restraining order they will stop you from coming to this house for getting 50 inches close to my daughter don't you dare jason don't you dare threaten me you want to try no you want to try dad hi baby First and foremost, I don't think you both are setting good examples for me. When you fight and argue so much, no, you've always taught me never to fight, argue, or get physically. Violent with any of my schoolmates. Because an attitude like that doesn't make me a good girl. And it shows lack of hope training. <laughs> my point <laughs> lack of hope training. I said to it exactly. That's not the point, Mom. The point I'm trying to make here is I know you both can't get along. We can't stand each other. But couldn't you just try at least? For me? See, Mom, I love you so much. I truly do. But I've gotten to know my dad too. And have, I have come to love him. My secret wish for us to live as one big happy family would. It might never come true. But I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to choose between both of you.
Jason, please. Husband? Yep. Her husband. You got married without telling me. I couldn't believe that you actually get out of my marriage without telling my marriage. Honestly. Sorry, Maybe we'll have this in there. What's this? What are you hiding? Why would you want to hide the existence of your husband? joy to hear you say this and thank you for taking good care of my Hilary. Welcome, I'm really grateful. Thank you, I didn't have it at all. Like Mrs. Big said, she was such a delight to take care of me. God bless you. God bless you, Doris. Thank you for saying this. And um, Mrs. Biggs, it was a very delicious lunch you made out there. <laughs> I had, I had to, I, I ate so much. Oh my god. Yes. You see, Mrs. Big, my mom thinks you're a fantastic cook too. Oh, yes. <laughs> see, my child. Thank you, mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, mom. Come, let me show you my room. Okay, nice meeting you. Bye. 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 See you later. Hi, Mrs. Big, see if I can hear. Good. But, you know, I said that the tree down for me to see. Clean your stove and you wash your dishes. Mm. Well, let's just say that was the one thing that I was not going to stick. Really? It's not what you got to do. Well, not in so many words, but um... He didn't do so badly when he chose you, Mom. Did he? Hilary. The things you say sometimes. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you not going to ever patch things up between you? Please don't, Hilary. Your dad is a forgotten chapter in my life. And I don't wish to revisit my past. Um, is that why you got married without telling me? How could you do that, Mom? Miss Hilary's mother is a very pretty oh lady. She is such a pretty woman indeed. Did you see her? You know how she speaks? Like she just came back from. <laughs> but that leads me to wonder why the long separation between the boss and the pretty lady. Because looking at them, anyone who has eyes will see that they are suited for each other. Don't do, do you have eyes? Nice. Ma? 
Doris, Ma. may I remind you that you are not paid to wonder at other people's private lives for goodness sake. So don't stick your nose into where you do not belong. Doris. Mrs. Biggs, you're just no fun at all. In fact, you're no longer any fun. Small gist. Gist! Small. Doris, go! I'm going. To join the gist, small gist. Do you have to make it obvious? Ever since you were born, everything I've ever done has always been for your good. I want you to understand that I will never, ever do anything to hurt you. But mom, is that why you did? Shh. I know. But I will explain everything in due time. Just, just give me, just trust me this one more time. Okay. Okay, mom. All right, um, sorry to, to interrupt, but the car is ready to wash. I guess it's time to say goodbye then. Yes, babe. But I promise I will always be Kishan and That's the year that Now, come on, you have a permission to come to me. You have time. Yeah, I'm serious, right? Okay, come see me up, baby, will you? Yes! I am happy that mom and dad has finally agreed to work on getting along. Parents shouldn't really fight, especially not in the presence of their children. Because if I am to be a judge by the way, seeing mom and dad fight made me feel today, then I believe it makes children unhappy and the way I say it, an unhappy child equals to a rebellious child. <sighs> well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that this truth will last. Dear diary, today started very peacefully and uneventfully, but I never knew that I was in for appalling surprises. First was Eddie who refused to talk to me. Hi Eddie. Obviously he's still upset over our last encounter. Then along came that to give me the dreaded news. Hello, my pumpkin. How are you? Hello, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just writing in my diary. Great. Hope the write-up is interesting this time. Of course, it always is. 
All right, speaking of interesting things, I just got on the phone with your grandma. Guess what? What? She just told me she'd like to meet her granddaughter. Uh, what do you think? I uh, don't know. Why? Why is your face like that? Huh? Nothing. Uh, look, at, look at me, darling. I'll show you. All right, it's going to be a very lovely experience getting to meet grandma. She wants to meet you. All right? All right, yes. Good. So, by the way, once you're done writing, you want to see me, I'll be up in my study. All right? And find time to pack your things. So. All right. All right? Yeah. Catch up. All right, bye. Really, Miss Hilary, you feel excited at the prospect of seeing your grandmother for the first time. Why? Your grandmother is a very important person in this society. You should feel honored being related to her. But that's just the point of the story. I'm scared of being such an important personality. I may not be accepted and I may not meet her expectations. Well, you know that you have mentioned that your grandmother does have this formidable new nonsense look around her. I actually quiver in my shoes whenever she comes to this. Thank you, Thanks for meeting me. And that's the cousin by the way. I'm sorry about that. But I'm just talking from the point of view of the domestic help. Maybe she'll be different to what she will have to see her in it. Good heavens, Hilary. Don't tell me you plan on taking those to your grandmother's house. What? No, I'm gonna have looks now. That's good. Young lady, if you are looking at getting disapproved by your grandmother, then that tomboy outfit is the surest way to it. Your grandmother is one person who believes in everything being put in its right place. That is, girls knowing their girls and behaving like Girls and boys like white. Is this my illegitimate granddaughter? accepted as an ego darling. I prescribe a total and complete overhaul of her personality. Guards, fix her up.
model. <laughs> look at you, you look well. <laughs> It's been ages since you last came. Come on, mom, stop. You know that's an exaggeration. I was here. I was here wearing it not too long ago. Mm. Right. And besides, I've been busy trying to, you know, be successful. Oh, <laughs> too busy being a CEO. Mom. You forget your poor mother. Is it possible to stop <laughs> loving you now? Well, where is my granddaughter? Come on. Come on, darling. That's grandma. Say hi. Come, 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 my dear daughter. Come and say hello to your grandmother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm well. But how do you do it? What is your name? What? You mean she named her after your father? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, that place just got some manners. Come on, girl. You must use plants like that while eating on the dining table. It's bad enough that you dress like a boy. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that name is totally unsolved. Stop! What is going on? What is going on? My name is Sinto. I'm kind of doing some way, but she's in the middle of the Hilary Well, you didn't turn out to be a boy. She could have gone for a stand. Mm -hmm. And maybe she would have known they would have told her that she was not a boy, and she would have looked for more suitable things for you. I guess you're right. Maybe she never thought of it, though. Maybe she barely had enough. Because I've heard her complain about how she barely had enough when she was pregnant with me. I see. Anyways, I read out my name now that I know I'm named after my grandfather. That's so sad. Like... Hello. I really hope Grandmom was not offended about what I said at lunch today. Well, it's truly an honor to be named after a man who single handedly achieved all this. Oh, how I wish I actually met my grandfather Hilary Godalo. I'm sure he wouldn't be as uptight as my grandma Celia. Oh, what? Is that a CCTV camera? Wow, I've always heard of about it, but mm -hmm. I've never actually touched it. I hope nobody is going to get mad at me. Well, look, there is absolutely nothing to confirm, all right? Hilary is my daughter. Well, are you saying that your ex-girlfriend will just spring up with a grown-up child on you claiming that she is yours and you will swallow it hook, line, and sinker just like that? Mother, she is my daughter. She is mine. Are you insinuating that Susan has, has lied to me about Hillary's paternity? Is that what you're saying? Not exactly. 
I'm just saying that issues like this, and, and you know, considering the worth of our families, we can never be too careful. Mother, I totally understand, all right? I understand what you're trying to say. But I know Susan. She, she can't possibly lie to me about a thing like this. No. Is that so? I didn't know you trusted her that much. Oh, come on, Mother. Now we go again. Okay. Please. Hilary's my daughter, right? She is mine. I mean, it's, it's clear. Well, that girl is an Hildalu through and through. I mean, look at her. You don't tell me that you haven't noticed that she inherited her streak of stubbornness and self-conceitedness from you. But I have to say that myself. Well, I agree she's very outspoken. I give her that. But well, that's true, but that, I mean, that girl just reminds me of you. What I cannot understand is what you were looking for up that ladder in the first place. Huh? My goodness, girl. You shocked all of us. I'm sure that by now my blood pressure is gone up more than a notch. Uh, no worries. You're right. I think I should be on my way now. I requested for. Um, Mr. Jason, I hope your mother is taking the appearance of your daughter from the blues very well. Oh, well, that's, um, let's <laughs> say uh, she's, uh, you know, taking it as well as expected. I know your mother. I know she takes family very seriously, and uh, your daughter is very intelligent and resourceful. I am sure she will win over Mrs. Celia in the time. Thank you very much. That's, um, that's no doubt at all. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I want to say thank you so much for being here on such a uh, short notice. I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. All right. Take it easy now. I'm really sorry, Grandma. I I never meant to cause you distress or make your blood pressure shoot up. Well, that's okay. You should have known better than to go climbing up a wobbly ladder. Like Dr. Sam said, you should leave such activities of climbing ladders to boys and men. Yes, you're right, Grandma. I should have never gone up the ladder. Yes. You shouldn't have gone off the ladder, all right? Next time you don't do things like that, okay? So you don't panic us, yeah. all right? Because you have fault, I hereby sentence you to an early night. Okay. So that's it. 
that is I saw a boy. I know that. Okay. Goodbye, Zubat. Monster grandmother. I'm sure of that. No, I don't mean it that way. It's just I know you would be very upset with me. So does this mean you've forgiven me already? Oh yes, I have. It's just that you're fighting the life out of me. But I'm happy that you're all right. I I couldn't stand my granddaughter losing an arm on her first visit to her grandmother, could I? Well, now, wipe off that gloomy face of yours and put on a lovely smile for me. And a hug. It seems that today promises to be filled with a lot of surprise. To say that I was surprised yesterday when grandmother asked me to give her a hug would be a total understatement. I mean I was knocked over by surprise.
Mr. Jensen is in the living room, madam. Oh, shoot. Can I ask anything the problem, Miss Clara? It's nothing, really. I just wanted to show my dad my new clothes, so he'll tell me if it's okay. Well, before I show myself to my grandmother, so it's... Oh, that. <laughs> well, even though I am not Mr. Jason, but I think you look absolutely gorgeous in that attire. Really? If I'm asked to suggest, I will suggest you wear it to any occasion you so desire. All it right. looks beautiful on you. All right, I got the message, Mr. J. Let me go and meet my dad and grandma. Okay, Miss Gillard. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. I don't know if you know what I mean, Mom. Oh. Here comes my beautiful granddaughter, Valerie, looking graceful in her dress. Or not so graceful. Um, excuse me, Grandma. Who are you talking to? Who else? You, of course. But you just said Valerie. Oh, yes. Now, do come on. Come and sit down here, and I'll tell you all about it. So, you see, my dear, I have been brainstorming and thinking of a suitable female name for you. Since Hillary is not suitable and it's boyish, and I came up with the name Valerie. And your dad agrees to it that it is perfect for you. So I hope you will like it. Well, first, the name Valerie is derived from the word valiant, which means courage and determination. So, I hope that you will like it, Valerie. Mm, I will, or I do. Talk about being knocked over by surprise. Now what? So that.
I chose a more feminine name for her. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think Valerie is more appropriate. Oh, well then. Um, hi, Valerie. My name is Auntie Kate. Hi, Auntie Kate. It's nice to meet you. meeting you. Thank you. And your daddy here told me a whole lot about you. Yeah. Good to meet you. Okay. All right, girls. We good. Say hello to your new cousin. Hi, Hi, Valerie. Hi. Hi. Anyway, Valerie, um, this is Vegan, Naomi, and Nicholas. So, guys, why don't you just go somewhere, get acquainted with one another? I'm sure you have a lot to talk about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. We will have to talk about things. Now, girls, we will not be talking about football, wrestling, or even boxing. <laughs> But it's okay, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, Mr. Man, why don't you just go and protect Sheldon from getting hurt? Okay, Mr. Magic, yes. Captain. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you do that.
I can't believe that you would have let your own sister to slide in this outlay. Anyway, go on and see if I can hear. I'm off. Yeah. I know, CM. I'm very happy for you. You know, I I know how much you are that you had. And that's why you lost Eunice giving birth. Mom's last hope. Well, here you are, you have a big girl like this. Oh, isn't it? Ah, we, we thank God for you. Um, what can I say? Hilary is what I call an expectant blessing. You don't know what joy it is to have that girl. Oh, yes, she is. I mean, but how could you have ever given up hope of having children when you're about to get married to Vanessa? Or are you planning on not having kids? Um, Vanessa, mother, when was the last time you spoke with Vanessa? Uh, she didn't call? Tell you that she called up the engagement as well. <laughs> ah, I need to bring you two up to speak. Seriously, uh, I mean, what happened? Vanessa was with me the day Susan was here. Now, having seen what happened, she couldn't deal with it. She ran into her room, packed her bags, and was going to run out of the house. I called her, I said, Where are you going? She said, but um, it was hard enough. And I'm a widower, and now I have a 14 year old daughter coming to live with us. That is, if we we'll end up getting married, and she really cannot do with children. And Sorry. it's best for her, yeah. You mean Vanessa said that? I, I don't understand. Well, there isn't so much to understand, but I mean, uh, Vanessa and I, from the beginning, we, we've been like, um, Square pegs and round holes, you know. We have really never agreed on one thing together. So I think really it's, it's best for the both of us. You remember, Mom, I've always told you that the only reason I've always considered having her in my life is because of the beautiful lap of both families and joy in terms of business. <laughs> but hey, good reason to read that. You know, um, yeah, it's bad rubbish. You know, I never really liked that girl, Vanessa. For no reason, I just don't know. I mean, why would a girl trash a relationship? Because of a flimsy excuse like that. So that means she never really loved you. Oh, goodness me. She doesn't even know she's losing it now. I mean, a catch. She doesn't. I think she's a loser, man. I don't think she looked at me one more time before she stepped out of her. She did she? <laughs> Tell me if I really breathe for looking like my life. You know, I, 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 I thought, you know, God bless this girl some common sense. Ah, oh, what a disappointment. You know what they say, mother? Common sense isn't that common now, is it? <laughs> I think she's a loser, man. She's a loser. Uh-huh. Because my brother is cute. Uh-huh. Say that one more time. Oh, my brother is cute. <laughs> say that one more time. But you know the good thing, sis, is that I think I got my face from, from, from my mom. Yeah. Look at her face. I remember that telling me sometimes. I was from my mom was a son. Wow, I love this. Yeah, you know, despite what Vivian thinks, I'm not ashamed to ask for help. I don't see anything wrong in it. Really? But you don't have to let Vivian's friends get to you. I don't know why she's always me. Can you believe it? That she and her friends in school think it's fashionable. Fashionable? Yeah. I've never heard such nonsense before. How can being me be fashionable? I don't know, but they seem to get some kick out of it. Then they are totally clueless. You sure. can say that again. <laughs> sure they are. Yeah. So, I love this. Definitely. See, um, I'm just glad you're nothing like her because oh, it's such a relief. At least I can talk to someone, eh? Yeah. My dad told me about um, your mom. I'm so sorry she died. Please accept my condolence. Um, it's okay. Um, you see, Nicholas and I never leave my mom. 
You know, we were still babies when she died. So, it's just our stepmom, that's your auntie Kate. She has been the mother figure we have. Yeah. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Although Auntie Kate looks so awesome, I, I'm sure she's going to. She has really been taking care of yeah, you sure guys. She is. Okay, let's just go back to the iPad. Oh, well, I can't wait for you to. All do you that. have to know is just the basics. And okay. believe me, you're good to go. Are you ready? Sure. What are you saying? Okay, thanks for Why are you giving it to me? Open it to oh, yourself. No. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you. <laughs> All right, darling. Do it back carefully. All right, darling. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Bye, Grandma. Bye, darling. Mm. I'll miss you too. Okay. Let me go. Okay. Get into the car. Okay. All right, then. You can go inside. 
Okay, I'll do. Okay, bye, Uncle Hi, Grandma. Um, come on, please. I really need to talk to you. Come, sit down. Hi. Tell me all about what you want to say. Um, Grandma, it's about my change of name. Yes, what about it? Um, having given it a long and hard thought, I have come to the conclusion of retaining my name, which is Hillary. I, I don't really, I don't mean to offend you, Grandma, but I think a person's worth is not determined by the name, but the strength of the character. I see. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Okay, Grandma, for example, a person might be named Valerie, but still lacks strength. Another might be named um, success, but still be a total failure. Hmm. Well, I think you have just won me over by that argument. <laughs> and I think you're right. Oh. So we are sticking to Hillary, right? Um, yes, that's a deal. <laughs> Hillary that's uh, so from sure, Grandma. That's <laughs> very slow. Thank you so much, Grandma. So, welcome. do we have a knuckle on it? No, what? Knuckle. No, that's not ladylike. Okay. We shake. Okay, shake. <laughs> Whatever you say, Grandma. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grandma. You're welcome, my darling. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, not to mention, my dear, it was my pleasure, Hillary, darling. <laughs> but now, promise me, you will come back again soon. I sure will, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary? Did I hear Hillary? Huh? Oh, it's, um... What's going on? What um, happened to Valerie? Um, let's just say Grandma and I had an understanding. <laughs> an understanding? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's good to know. Well, understanding indeed. Let's just say that um, we probably have a lawyer in the making right here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Mother. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Mm. Uh, mother, we'll have to go. Okay. We'll have to run. We'll have to beat traffic. Oh, keep yeah. your heart. <laughs> I wish God. It's too, darling. <laughs> Thank you. I'll stay in touch, Mother. Okay. I'll call. Okay. I'll do take care now. Okay. I will. I will. Shall we, darling? Uh, Jason. Yes, Mother. I'd like to see you uh, for something. Oh, okay. It's all right. Um, sweetheart, why don't you um, wait for me in the car? All right. All right. Bye, Grandma. Bye, darling. Mother, do I... Need to sit for this one. Oh yes, go ahead. Okay. Two moments. All right. Here. I'm sure you would like to see that for yourself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this one? It's the result of the paternity test I had Dr. Sam. 
carry out from the blood samples uh, he had of Hillary and yourself? What? Well, I don't understand. I, 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 I don't remember authorizing this. I know. I know. But... Listen, things like this cannot just be based on God's feelings. Oh. I mean, you just can't just buy it that she is your daughter. You know, you need to back these things up with evidence, by hard evidence. God's feelings have been known to fail. What happened? Stop! Please stop, all right? This is totally unnecessary. That's my child. I have no right to observe what no! Oh, I have every right, Jason. I have every right, Jason. Not after I discovered that her mother is no other person than that poor, opportunistic ex-girlfriend of yours. Who will put nothing past her by trying to force her bastard daughter of her half on you? Why you just stop? Please. Stop! For God's sakes! I have told you countless times, mother. You don't know this girl. I know her. All right? What makes you think? Mother, what makes you think that Susan would lie to me about a thing like this? Ah! Is that so? <laughs> I see. I see that you two have kissed her uh, and, and made up. Don't tell me you've fallen for her cheap ploy and that it's working. What are you on about, mother? <laughs> what cheap ploy? Well, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? What other motive will she have for bringing Hillary into your life at this very point in time? After she's obviously found out that you have become a widow. And now she's trying to see whether she can use the soft spot you've developed for the girl to get back into your life and manipulate you and milk you dry. Just please allow me, all right? Please. As far as I'm concerned, this conversation is totally meaningless and uncalled for. Yes! But just so you know, Susan is not interested in me. Susan has moved on with her life. Susan will not use our only child as a money milking cow. You know why? Because she loves her. I will not use her for a thing like that. So if you'll excuse me, mother. I have things to do. Goodbye. Uh, what? Principal, this one is supposed to be a surprise. I'm not telling you. Ah, uh, my mom says I went over to the kitchen. Now I'm expecting you to. 
I wonder why kids of our days don't like this. Eh? This is a very good source of protein. And you know what? The more you eat it, the taller you grow. Hmm, have my mouth. Shh, it's a surprise. <laughs> then that makes your mom a very wise woman. I'll tell her you said that. Because not every man knows the advantage of giving this to his children. Hmm. I'll tell her you said that. You do that, child. I'm not letting you say this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is me? What, my child? I mean, this is me and Auntie Joy. Oh, oh, not that I didn't have fun in my grandma's mom's name. You know, she made me wear girls' clothes and she even tried to change my name. But I got to meet Auntie Kate, my cousin, and many. I had so, so, so much fun. But notwithstanding, I am so glad I'm back. You know, back to my old tomboy too. But my child, I also missed you so much. Okay. In fact, this house will not just the same, it threw away. Okay. And that is the reason I am preparing this stop, stop just meal. Just to wake up your back home. Some just meal. It was sumptuous, you just tried it. Mm -hmm. Go to the dining house, get done with this fast. Mm -hmm. Hello, okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Excuse me, Mrs. Big. Yeah. Not the church. Oh, good that. Here you are. Mm. Mrs. Big says she prepared this very delicious big to so celebrate my return. Sumption great cross to celebrate. Great. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, so why don't we just tell um, you know go ahead and do justice to this? Just why don't we tell me? Um story I totally forgot. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Hope you slept well. Yeah, sure it. After you nap. Oh, oh no, so <laughs> Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Oh, Jake. This looks good. Yay. Sure does. Alright. Great. <laughs> Alright. Good one. Mm. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We ask that you bless and sanctify in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. 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 Eat. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Auntie Darius, this is really, 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 really nice. Like, it really does look good. Mm -hmm. I know. So make sure you finish it. Yes, you. I will. <laughs> if you need another thing, I'll give it to you. Sure. Okay. Alright, go ahead. How about this? Let me see your face. Hold on. Knife of all. Knife of all with me. I'm always. <laughs> Mrs. Big is like the best cook ever. Mm -hmm. I've always said that, haven't I? Oh, yeah. you're such a gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> no, darling. I was thinking that um, since the holiday period of the ocean, we might as well kickstart your enrollment process. Hmm. You know, so that um, that way when school is back in session, you're back in class. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, cool, but do you have any school in mind or we're going school hunting because that sounds like fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like fun, huh? School hunting. Don't worry, darling. I have a school in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my formal secondary school. Mm -hmm. Where I got proper education. Well. Same as your auntie Kate and Sally, which, by the way, you haven't met but Get to meet them very soon. It's a good school, you all like it. So it's like a family school. Oh well, that's um that's another way to look at it. My father, who's your grandfather, um, had a very good friend at the time who had established the school. And then um, you know, it was quite expedient here that we kept good education. 
Norway York, so my father and sister that we went to this place. Sounds really cool. Okay. And is that by any chance the same school Vivian attends? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Uh, who told you? You've been told about it already? Not really. No, no, I haven't. How did you know? Someone told you about it? No, no, no. No one did. I just no. Seeing that the Kate is my auntie and she's your sister, you know. All right, no problem. So, um, have you finished up your food quickly? I wait for you in the living room. Mm -hmm. While you rush upstairs, change into something really, really nice. I am taking you to my former school. My alma mater. Your good minds are produced. Are you ready? I sound so proud of this school. Yes, darling, I am proud of my school. Can't you see how that it turned out? Mm, yeah, I know, Don't you right? Like mm, yeah. <laughs> Like, before you change your clothes and you're wearing your shoe, are you going out? Yes, I'm going out with my dad. Hmm. You are turning into the daddy pampered girl, aren't you? <laughs> well, I could actually envy you, you know. Don't envy me, I'm sorry. You think you're not going to Hmm. No, I don't believe you. Are you sure? See, we're going to my dad, um, old alma mater. He wants me to be young there once they were doing this work. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Your daddy's old school is one of the most prestigious schools in this town. Mm -hmm. Like, that is the school where all the high and mighty send their children. Ministers, the governors. And even sure that is not where the president of America is. Ah, I see those. Those If friends you mean like um, Vivian and my cousin attend the school, then I don't so look forward to going to that school. Seriously. Uh, no matter how prestigious. Nicola, hmm? there is this saying that goes like this: You don't judge a tree by a few rotten fruits. Hmm? Keep an open mind. Okay. Okay, I guess you're right. Yeah, you see this time around, I am right. <laughs> now, run along, don't keep your daddy waiting. Oh, mm. Hey, 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 young lady, where are you going? With your clothes sprung around everywhere. Pick up after you, my friend. Mm. Sorry, I forgot.
धर्माचं Oh well, uh, you're not far from the truth. I am what you might want to call a shareholder. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I see. This school has produced great men and women. I tell you, doctors, engineers, astute businessmen and women, pilots, you know, top medical practitioners. I'm just so proud to to say that I am part of that history and that's why I want you here as well so that you can share in that history. Yes, Dad. All right, the principal will be waiting, so shall we? Okay. You want to come this way, you want to go that way? Yeah. <laughs> Let me go this way. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Jason. Good morning, how are you? Unexpected you. Fine, thank you. Um, I guess this is your daughter you pulled me around. Yes, this is my beautiful <laughs> daughter, Hilary Zodalo. <laughs> Say hello. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, my dear. You're welcome to the third school. I hope you love it here. I hope so, Mr. Jason, thank you for considering us. You're welcome. I assure you, we'll continue to maintain this family in the school. I'm not in doubt. That's why I came. Good. In that case, I'll call one of the teachers to accompany her to one of the classes. Okay. Yes, for her to write the entrance test. All right, no problem. Um, excuse me. Hello? Yes, um, Mr. Uchenna. Please come to my office and meet me. <laughs> so how has it been with um, the affairs of the school? Well, not bad. And I see a few renovations. It's, it's looking good here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jason. Oh! Yes, you sent forward. Yes, Mr. Uchenna, I did. Mr. Jason, this is Mr. Uchenna. Oh, pleased to meet you. Our SS1 maths teacher. Oh, okay. He's one of the best in this part of the city. Is it? <laughs> Mr. Chen, I need you to accompany the young lady to one of the SS1 classes for her to write the entrance test. Okay. Young lady, please come. Excuse me, but I want to see Quite you. Quite excuse. It's okay. <laughs> After this. Right. Um, Ms. Jason, yes. the test will take an hour. Oh, uh, okay. Welcome to my office. Why don't I just uh, raise it to town, do a few things, and then be back here in the car, so, mm. right? It's all right. But I trust that she's in the city. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You're here. <laughs> yes. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, then. So much for your time. All right. I'll be welcome. back. Thank you.
really though it was tough but it wasn't something i couldn't handle now that i'm boasting i know you are not my child you know what god has blessed you with the kind of brain he gives to your daddy not that i think so i know so my dear now what do i prepare for you evan soup or noodles With Nodo. Nodo. And what I want you to just see in that school. Oh, seriously, Mrs. B. That's because you're old school. We are new school. We, we, we prefer noodles. It's tummy, tummy noodles. Anytime, any day. I'm sure I do have it here. Now I rest my case. So you can go and get something to amuse yourself. In two minutes, come back with your tummy, tummy noodles, okay? Okay, Mrs. B. Um, before the two minutes, let me um hold. I'm seeing that I'm still ready to put my biscuit. Okay, we are going to wait for your little bit. You will see that. You will be there. Oh my god. Apologize for what happened the other day. But you already did that, didn't you? But you never said apology accepted. And I think it's got something to do with your foolish attitude whenever you see me. Hope you ain't trying to insult me again. No, no, no. Come on, let's don't fight. You won't believe what happened to me that day. I just, I can't tell you now. It's girl stuff. And come on, the truth is, I'm not that snobbish. I'm not. Okay, okay. Apology accepted. My dad just took me to. Crest high, and I'm going to get in very soon. That is if I pass the test, though. I can't believe I'm going to be in the same school my dad actually attended. I hope you make it too. Come on, Eddie. Why is that? Do you want some biscuit at least? No, thanks. Excuse me. My child. Hmm. Young Mrs. Big. Nice. Make sure you finish all of them. Of course I will. Oh. Mrs. Big. That's my child. Um, why is Eddie um very unfriendly? I mean, his father the gate man is so nice and cheerful, unlike his son. Why do you have to say that, my child? Because I've been trying to get him to accept my apology, but he's just refusing. Are you saying that uh, Eddie refused to accept your apology? Well, he... It not sound like him. Well, the thing is, he eventually did today, but he's still acting very unfriendly to me. I mean, we stay in the same house, we could be very wonderful friends. If only we just get off his high horse. Well, I think Eddie may not see that way, what? especially since you are a girl. Maybe he doesn't need a girl for a pal now. How is that? I had so many male friends when I was staying with my mom. How is that possible? Like, we were very cool together. Well, that's... Uh, not the way you got your tomboy behavior from. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Vicks, I really miss my friends. Don't worry, my dear. Very soon, you are going to make as many friends I still wouldn't have need for them at all. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You don't worry, just eat your sweet inner deals. This is really nice, Mrs. Briggs. Yeah. Well, you, going, you promise you're going to finish every bit of it. I will, eventually. I want to eat.
Miss Hillary, I've gotten your clothes. Oh, it's very. Thanks for washing for me. How was your visit here that time? Yeah, it was okay. The school compound, big, the classrooms next to it. Of course they should be. Not with all the money they paid there. So tell me how to tell you. Their fees are terribly expensive. Of course they are. But your dad can afford it, so. Cheer up. <laughs> so it's going to say. But uh, personally, I I hope that your dad wouldn't want you to be a bother. I would prefer it if you're a day student. Why? Well, because the say the school is haunted at night. <laughs> oh my god, that's so easy. Don't tell me you believe those Miss Koi Koi and the Bush Baby stories. Those are still news, though. <laughs> My heavenly God, eh? I don't believe in Lady Koi Koi, and I don't believe in uh, Bush Baby. The ghost of your dad's alma mater is a different story altogether. Mm. Well, um, you see, she's a woman, an estranged woman. She used to be a teacher in the school, but the principal sacked her without paying her her wages. So she returns every midnight to come and haunt the school. And uh, they, say, they say she goes like this. Pay me my wages. Pay me my wages. I'm stopping now. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even get scared. Oh, I'm Good night.
emocionais. Hum. Eu sei que você quer. Sim, mas não posso dar o meu word em time. Eu prometo que eu vou ver você. Mas eu não sou um homem de suas palavras. Absolutamente. É ok. Eu não tenho nada a se preocupar. Eu vou sempre estar aqui para te ver. Então, desde que eu tenha feito a minha chave, eu tenho te ver por você durante a noite. Posso me levantar e começar o meu dia? Sim, pode. Eu tenho que ir embora. Bom. Eu espero que eu não te ver. Bom, você não é apenas... apenas um pouco. <laughs> it's okay, but all the same, I'm happy I was able to chase the boogie woman away. Sorry, Dad. It's okay. Good morning. Last night, I found myself in Eagle's Quest High, running for my dear life. Because the spirit of a dead female star who used to haunt the school was after me. A dead female star? Mm -hmm. Come on, Dad. Don't tell me you haven't heard of the female star who committed suicide. Who's feeling you having such nonsense? She's been written in her destiny that she's going to stop. I stop laughing and be like that. I don't like it. Ah, Hilary. The kind of things you say. <laughs> I wonder where you get them from. Alright, so that takes me back to my question. Who told you that you go quest high? It's something. Oh, yeah. I've totally forgotten. Maybe, but now that I know um, that it's just one silly thing I shouldn't have listened to. Do you have your father? Yes, I do. I'm glad you I have forgotten that. You should too. It's just one silly story. Can you forget it? forget it? What was to forget it? Sir? Mr. Jason? You sent for Yeah, that was I sent for you. Yeah, I think so. I want to know who told my daughter that that the school she will be attending after the holidays. If everything goes well. Is a fantastic school. Fantastic my posts. So I am really neck deep in trouble now, am I not? But let me just say that before you sack me. If I had known that the story would cause Hillary to have nightmare, I would not have told her. I told you my heavenly thing, I swear. I need you to watch the kind of advice you give to my daughter. It's very obvious. She's a grown girl, she has very fertile imagination. Okay, sir. Do you understand? I, I do, sir. I, I think you know this story was a lie. But I, I promise I'll do as you say, sir. Can you leave, please? Thank you, sir. No, sir. People can lie. So nobody committed suicide. Doris, I'm busy. Get out. Thank you, sir.
Hello, my pumpkin. How are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, how was your day? It was okay. Just back since morning. I know. What um shall be a thing on the past, alright? I'll really go to school and do things and stuff. Okay? And then speaking of school, I've got good news for you. Hey! Yeah? Tell me. <laughs> when we get inside. <laughs> This is a very good. Hmm. You said a lot of this. I see what I've been missing, but my mom is also a good cook. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I shouldn't have bothered you. <laughs> what? Well, why are you making that face? Huh? Good news. My good news. What news? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry darling, I forgot. When I came up to work and then I, I think I brought some work with me as well, so oh, I can't remember tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright now, don't 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 look at me, don't blackmail me like that. Alright now, there's a thing is I got in here, mm -hmm. okay, and I got Jali can you with the work that I brought so forgive me. Okay. So you were saying Good news, no? The news said we're going to stop me. <laughs> Mm, Dad, I hate when you do this. What do you do? Hmm? You can't wait till morning. <gasps> morning? Just, morning, just try. I won't sleep. Just tell me. <laughs> Alright, this is it. I got an email from the principal of my former school. Mm -hmm. This is Issa. Mm -hmm. And the email said that um, you passed your entrance examination, so you are now eligible to be enrolled. I made it. So that's Daddy is proud of you, Daddy. Oh. Oh. Please, Doris. Nah. Hurry up with those. Eh? I'm feeling oddly tired tonight. I want to go to bed earlier. Are you sure you're not coming down with something, Mrs. Bates? What? No, please. God forbid. I made it. High five, baby. Great. I'm going to tell <laughs> Aunt Doris and Mrs. Big. Go ahead, that is proud of you. I'm going. Sweet, sweet. Aunt Doris, get up. Oh, let me turn the what? I passed the test with my dad's Oh my god. Wow. Yes. Such wonderful news. Thank Congratulations, darling. Thank you. Congratulations, my daughter. You Thanks. deserve it. I can't believe I'm going to be attending the same class with that. Oh, that's plenty of ways. I'm starting to Really? Yes. I bet you be. I'm going to grab it all from you. Why do you do it? Alright. Alright. I'm going to go my dinner. I left my dad's house. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Kill me. Yeah, an interesting child. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, please. I want to dance it. I just them. And can you imagine Miss Big said they already knew I was gonna make it? Mm, I was telling that one and you were gonna make it, darling. How come everyone knew you except me? Oh well, because we're adults and as adults we have quite knowledgeable about things like this, so we know. Adults. Mm. Besides, you're your daddy's daughter, so you should be intelligent. Yeah, I think so. Now. So once again, darling, congrats. I'm proud Thank of you. Thank you, that's such a relief. School finally. Yeah, thank you, Grandma. That's not easy. Oh, okay. that thing on time. You'd have to hit the bed quite early. You have an early day tomorrow, and if you want to. How so? What is also? I didn't tell you that Auntie Kate is coming here tomorrow with your cousins. Vivian and Naomi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get to see Naomi again, thank God. Well, you don't talk about Vivian much, why? Because we didn't really get along the last time we met, right? Is it? 
Mm-hmm. What happened? I don't know. We didn't just... We just had little issues, but... Hey, maybe when we see tomorrow, we're going to work something out. I don't know. You never know? Yeah. So, um, you all are going out tomorrow for shopping and then... You are so meant to get uh, a few things in the first school. Okay. Come please, Hilary, can you please... Big things for girls, I beg you. Oh god, Dad, I'm going to school nuts. When it comes to shopping, I can't, I can't trust you, forgive me. Trust me a little bit. Take me with you. And this one. Sure. Yeah. I promise. Mm -hmm. Someone like me, from low class code, could be able to pass a test into such pre prestigious and upper class school as to say college. I can't wait to share the good news with Bob. I am definitely going to do that first thing tomorrow. Oh! And tomorrow, I get to spend the day with cousin Vivian. I hope she will be in a better mood. Because I have promised that, that I will try to get along with her. And I would so hate to feel that. <sighs> Thank God Naomi is coming to do. No, mom, it's not that. It's I, like. Good morning. How are you doing? Sweetheart, it's just that I miss you so much. This house, this house looks, this house feels so dry without you. Oh, I miss you too. So much, so, so much. But guess what? I just passed my entrance exam into that old secondary school. Really? Yeah, the name of the school is Eagles Quest High, and it's one of the best schools in the state. So I heard. Oh, baby, that's that news. That's that's the best news today. Okay, I'm so happy for you. Congrats. I'm so proud of you, baby. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Congrats for being a brilliant girl. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, um, you know what? Um, um, I, I don't want you to finish that. It's ready. Don't worry, I'll call you to find out how things go. Be a good girl, Hilary. Remember, I will always love you. Okay, bye. 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 I wish you were here. Love it. Love it. Yes, sir. 
you didn't hear me the first time. Sorry, sir, I was in the kitchen. All right, uh, my sister will come here with her kids to come take Hillary with them somewhere. But why did I get me to talk shit like that? Right, to make no, them comfortable and ensure that uh, they eat what they want. No, okay? No, All right, we can go. Would there be any other things, sir? No, I, but I can think of right now. But if there is alcohol, you are trying to visit us now. Hold that. Here's your phone. You don't have my phone? Yes, I am. Uh... Alright, so how's mom doing? She's fine. Great. Um, you know, why don't I just go ahead and get you a phone? Yeah, I mean if that's the way you um you can call your mom as frequently as you want. Oh, without having so... to depend on me. Mm, I'll be so cool then. Alright, I'll do so. In the meantime, I spoke with Doris. I told her that um, your cousins will be here. So okay. now you come here, be nice. Alright, and show that you're very comfortable. As I trust you to run the affairs of this house, even in my absence. Okay, you can take that. Alright. Take care. Daddy has to run. Alright. Take care of you now. Alright. Yeah? Right. To my dad's old and mama's heart. Of course, Valeria. Living a bright. And that is why we're getting the picture for that food with me. So, I suppose you will listen to any other. Come here. Thank you. Yes, a beautiful news. And I hope they're going to put us in the same class. I mean, it will be so perfect. Well, that's a matter of opinion now. So speak for yourself. Mrs. Kate, good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Sal. Very well, thank you, Abby. And um, won't you come here with the girls? I have some refreshment prepared and waiting for you. Sure, uh, why not? Yes, shall we? Yes, mom. Yes. Come on, yes. guys. Come Stop, Come on, 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 Come you don't have to keep calling me Valerie. My real name is Hillary, so I'd rather you keep calling me Hillary. Are you serious? But why? Oh, well, let's just say Grandma Cecilia thought Valerie was perfect for me. And, um, but I told her I'd rather keep bearing Hillary. Are you serious? You really do I sure did, but you know what? I was practically shaking in my shoes when I did. Yeah. But you were brave all the same. Mom, did you hear that? Valerie said, oh, I'm sorry, Hilary. <laughs> Hilary said she no longer answers Valerie reasons because she told grandmother Cecilia that she prefers answering her given name, Hilary. <laughs> you do? I do. Wow, that's very bold and decisive of you. So tell me, what did your mom say about that? Well, she said since I had convincing argument, she was okay with it. <laughs> really? Okay then, congratulations again. Thank you, Auntie Kate. Well, this has been very courageous. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Kate. I wonder why someone would discard a beautiful name such as Gallery for something as okay as Kate.
So why are you struggling with your cousin? Oh my god, the shoe no. Can I have the shoe, Thank you so much and thank you for um, 
in our observation that Vivian's problem is that she's jealous of me. Jealousy is a very bad feeling mom always says. It can make one do stupid things just like Vivian did today. And it can also turn a person to become bitter or as sour as a vinegar. <laughs> Just like my cousin Vinegar Vivian. Well, I'm sorry that I couldn't keep the promise I made to Dad to, to try to get along with cousin Vivian. But you know what? I will try harder next time. Good night, diary. Yours sincerely tired, so tired, Hila.
dear diary, it's my first day in school today. I didn't want to wake up late. So I, I set an alarm on my phone. I I even asked Mrs. Biggs to wake me. She said she she has an internal alarm set in her head. What a funny expression. Get tired. All this excitement will soon fizzle out. Two terms, two months. What is this? What is it? What is it this time? Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. I'm all ready to go. Where? To school. How can you be going to school without your school uniform? Oh, that. Um, the school says we'll be ready next week. All right. Um, Mrs. Biggs. What's my choice? I don't think I'll be able to have breakfast. You see, my stomach is filled with butterflies. It's been the first day at school. So maybe I'll just go and tell Dad that I'm ready to go. Oh, no, my child. You're not going anywhere without your breakfast. Mm -hmm. Or oh, haven't you heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Okay. So you sit right down here while I go and get your breakfast. How much you done? Okay. Don't have to squeeze your face. I'll get your breakfast now. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I give you the kill. I'll wait for him to come. <laughs> but that's good news. <laughs> Car open. Good morning, Mr. Jason.
Oh god, Dad. But I'm nervous. Is this shame? <laughs> no, it's not. You'll be fine. Uh, besides, I took the day off to be your personal driver. All right? To give me the much needed moral support. So <laughs> tell me it's working by the back. Uh, it's working, alright? It's working. I'm good. I have to go now. It's okay. Um, go in there, have fun. In school, I can assure you that your classmates, I can see them smiling and chatting. They'll be very friendly. Okay. You'll be good. Alright, Daddy, so I'll see you after school. I will be here to pick you up, my princess, after school. Alright, Daddy. So, see you later. <laughs> Yeah, you got me, girl. Okay, 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 girls. Let me officially welcome you to the Zek College, where you will be out of your league. It's all right, Vivian. People from the slums don't last long here. Because you repaint a slum, too sharp a slum, a slum will always remain a slum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Why am I so glad to see you? And along comes Angel Naomi to the rescue. Oh my God! Yeah, come on, let's go and see your class. Thank you. Did you see that? This is the SS blog, and guess what? I'm here too. Yay! <laughs> but so is Vivian and her two followers, Jean and Mimi. Oh god, I can't believe that. Oh. But you know what? I am not scared of bullies. <laughs> Are you serious? I love that. <laughs> Don't worry, come, let's enter inside. I heard the principal is coming to address us. Really? Yeah. I hope I'm not late. That is my name. I once more welcome you all in the new academic session, 2015-2016 academic session. And I want to inform you, it is no more what you used to know. GS3 is not like SS1. This is where choice of career starts. So I am going to provide you all with a form where you are going to fill in the subjects, we have provided you with subjects, elective subjects, and that of compulsory ones you are going to combine. And when you must have made a decision with your parents, I'll be expecting you all to submit them in my office for onward um, verification and vetting. So while I give you your own form, you go make your decision, and I will be expecting you all back. I can see that you're busy trying to choose a subject. Yeah. That's what you have. No, no, I'm just confused. Excuse me, Dr. Now. You have to come and see 
Yes, Vivian, please have your seat. Slum girl, are you having difficulties reading what is written in the elective lists? <laughs> Obviously, Vivian, it's not written in pidgin English, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Seriously, girls, don't you have something more important to hey, do? Hey, you girl! Mind how you talk to my friends, okay? Then you call them off. Seriously, Vivian, this is not getting funny. What is wrong with you girls? Excuse me? And who is this one? Call me or not, bush girl, or should I call you Madam Protector? I don't want to see you taking the same subject that you're to say. Yeah, because if we find you in any of our classes, we're going to make your life a living hair. And who do you think you are to tell her that kind of thing? Oh, your she's the principal. No, no, no. The head teacher. <laughs> oh, no. The head bitch. Did you get that? Charge. I am so sorry, Vivian. But sing, I am not a witch. How would I know what subject your royal highnesses are going to choose? And even if I do, there's no possible way I would prevent being in the same class as the three of you. And just so you know, I am not going to be intimidated by the three of you in this school. So watch it seriously and out of my way. formula I called Bodmas. It's a formula that helps us to um, solve mathematical problems. And um, before I go on, since it's a new topic, I would like somebody here who understands what Bodmas is to tell the whole class. So if you know what Bodmas is, please could you signify by raising up your hand? Anybody in the class? Do you want to? Okay, fine. Jasper, please tell the class. Beautiful. Please clap for him. <laughs> All right. Now, please get your pen and your paper ready as I write on the board. Um, yes, as Jasper said, B means bracket. As I write, you write. And um, O means off. And D means division. And M goes for multiplication. And A. What's going on? Is everything okay, Hilary? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. You see, I, I had thought I was being pressed by a fly, but I just found out it was a human pressed up there. But I'm fine, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 please, please. Just stop this drama and concentrate, okay? Yes. Now, let's go back to our work. As I was saying, and um, A, I'm sure you're all writing. Yeah, A is addition. Hello, class. Um, during our last class, we talked about adverbs. Remember? And today we're going to talk about adverbial phrases. Adverbial phrases. Okay, um, in your junior secondary, I guess you used to the different parts of speech, right? Yeah. And now you are in the senior secondary. That is why we're taking you a step higher. That is to say, launching you into the adverbial phrases or in the phrase class. So it won't be adverbs as usual. Now we're going to do go forward and talk about adverbial phrases. Now let me take your minds back. What are adverbs? Vivian, 
Please, what are adverbs? Yes, please. Okay, I just bet that I use the advertisement. Hello. <laughs> Vivian, are you okay? Adverbs as in the part of speech, and I'm talking about advertisement. Could you please sit down? Mimi, what are adverbs? An adverb is when you add one verb to another verb, it gives you an adverb. <laughs> I didn't say verb squared, if there's anything like that. I mean adverb as in a part of speech. Holy Mary. Are you in this class? Yes, Hilary. What is an adverb? Adverbs are words that modify Adjectives, verbs, and their fellow adverbs. Beautiful. Could you give her a round of applause? <laughs> Vivian, did you hear that? Mimi, did you hear her as well? You are sure? Good. So adverbs are those words that modify a verb an adjective and fellow adverbs. I know you already know that. Hmm? I know you already know that. Those words that modify verb, as in running slowly, modify an adjective as in quite brilliant, and modify fellow adverbs as in very hard. Is that understood? Yes. Now, having gotten that, we can now go over to the... that stupid girl. She has the guts to call me a human first and I will show her for that. And you don't go about saying she's a cool girl because she's not. <laughs> anyway, that's absolutely right. I sort of like her, the way she talks, but I don't know why Vivian wants us to be mean to her. What? You don't let Vivian hear you say that. Don't let Vivian hear what? I was just telling Mimi about how we should get rid of your sister Naomi and that new girl. Oh no, Gina. Don't you ever talk about my sister like that. Leave my sister out of this. Do you understand me? Naomi can go ahead and support Hillary all she likes. The person you two have my permission to kick as you like is that imposter Hillary. But Vivian, I don't know why you want to get rid of that girl so easily. But she seems nice. Simeo, that is none of your business. Did you hear me? It's none of your business. Listen, if you two want to continue being my friends, then you have to do just as I have said. All right, Make Father, that yeah. Hillary stay in this school so miserable that she's going to end up asking my uncle to change school for her. Simple. Come right, down, Vivian. Vivian. Come down, Vivian. Don't worry, but... Remember she called me a human first. Oh well, that is what the two of you are becoming with all those questions. What is the matter with you? I don't even know. What of you are someone to ask me? But Lost that me. girl is not a cool girl. I must deal with her. She called me a human first. That one is even for business. Leave me alone. I know that the girl is cool and smart. Where's Naomi? Hello. Hello. I'm alright. Are you girls ready to go now? Yes, Senor Nicholas, we are. Naomi, behave yourself or else I'll sign some real punishments. Wait until you get the post. Until then, your post is not yet official. See, that, 
That's what you people keep thinking. That's what you keep thinking. <laughs> Excuse me, Hilary here, hey, what's up? Wow, your first day at school. I hope you did enjoy your first day at school. Yeah. Oh, thanks to Naomi here. She really helped yeah. me. Yeah. While on the other hand, Vivian is trying her best to discomfort Hilary with the help of her followers, Gina and me. Can you stop, Naomi? Stop oh, talking about me when I'm not there. What happened to Hilary wasn't my fault. It was Gina's and Mimi's, okay? Okay. See, see, I, I hope this is not true. I hope this is not true because if it's true, I bet you I'm going to get you reported tomorrow. There's no use, Nicola. There's no use. I don't want her to get into trouble because of me. So you shouldn't just bother reporting her. <laughs> Aren't you two good Samaritans? Well, I hope you will follow your wonderful Hillary home. Because if you don't, do not expect me to talk to you when we get back home. When are you going to change Vivian? No, oh, girl. What is Excuse. Don't push me now. Don't push me. Get up. Go, please. Move, let's start going. I don't know what's wrong with you. Hi, Hello, Vivian. How are you? Hello, Dad. I'm fine. Good afternoon, Naomi. Good afternoon. Yeah. Nick, you're here too. <laughs> I can't believe you came to pick me up after school. I don't you have something to do? Yes, I had work to do at the office, but then I remembered quickly that um, I had promised to be a chef. Yeah, yeah. You pick you up. Oh, I just so love my dad. He like so much. Me too. <laughs> Jason, I'm sure Hilary will tell you how we welcome her school today. I mean. Naomi and I may have been so much at home as they should belong in our class. Right, Naomi? Yes. Is that so? Yes, I'm Thank you so much. Thank you for making You're welcome, Jason. Well, it's kind of amazing. It's nice to meet you. I'm going to Okay. And that was how my dad goes. <laughs> Interesting. So this long sermon is just um, the perfect response to my very simple question of, so how, how was your day in school? How was that? I know I should have just told you I had a great day at school, but I went on and on and on. You know, I think I'm beginning to talk too much. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> ah, I just love you. Come here. Mm. I love you so much. I love you too. So. Yeah, so you know that is a very hard working man. I still got some, um, some work to get in before the day is over. So why don't you please hand me that laptop while you go see what Mrs. Biggs has for us for dinner? Yeah, uh, indirect big chasing me out. Oh well, something like that. It's it's called tact in English language. Like, a very tactful way of telling you to. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want me to get what? So <laughs> the laptop. Okay. See you later. The the laptop. Hey, Larry. So we have forgot now. Jesus. Let me just be to <laughs> <laughs> you just see me tomorrow, right? I see you, sir. Yeah, bye. Hey, 
Hi, Mrs. Biggs. I'm back. Oh, just nice. I hope your cousins are not still behaving rudely towards you. No, no, no. Naomi and Nicholas were very nice and welcoming. But you see, the term nice and welcoming doesn't fit Vivian at all. What? Don't tell me that Vivian is still behaving poorly towards you. Don't worry, Mrs. Biggs. You can never get along with everyone. Well, you know she's your blood sister. I know. I just pray that one day both of us are going to become friends eventually. Obviously, you have to be nice and cautious towards her because I've never seen the tricks that works better than love. I don't know why we should go. You want me to give you? Mm -hmm. Have you washed your hands? I'm mm -hmm. don't put your.
I'm fine. Um, were you able to understand the method? Yeah, I I think I think so. Um, uh, um now me. Yeah. Where's Vivian? She went for the drama class with Gina and Mimi. Oh, oh, she did, of course. Is there any problem? No, no, just just concerned about her. Recess, finally. Oh God, I'm so, so hungry. Come on, let's go to the school canteen and I love food too much. <laughs> Let me get my... I put my food, don't forget now. I know. You can right. eat it there while I eat the one I paid for. All right. Come on, what do you Make it snap. Let's go already. Okay. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, you like food more than... Are you looking for where to sit? Come and join us. Right. I'm with Naomi. Because Naomi can as well fit in with us. Right? Right. Don't worry, sis. My friends don't bite. Even if they do, I would never, ever allow them to bite my own sister. Right, girls? Wait a minute. I just don't believe this. Seriously, Vivian. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I don't believe this. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Vivian is right, Naomi. You see, Mimi and I were very mean to you on your first day in school. And we want to apologize. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this. Are you guys serious? Wait, this is getting crazy. <laughs> wow. Mimi and Gina, you guys have just knocked my cousin speechless with that apology. <sighs> okay, okay, but I also think you need to apologize to Hillary, don't you think? What? Not on your life, Naomi. I mean, Vivi doesn't apologize. <sighs> Whatever. Hillary, don't mind Vivian. I and Gina begin to you run the old school after a year of making it up to you. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, Hillary. I hope you will like that. We are going to take you around the whole school immediately after the school closes. Take me on top? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't know, but um, I'll think about it. Uh, my darling, take your time. Mm? Yeah. I feel so relieved right now. It's just like a bit of a little of my shoulder. <laughs> just because you've made peace with us. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Glory, you can order for anything. The bail is on me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see. I want to cook. Don't you worry. Want one? Okay, I already have Okay. Some. You can take a look at I'll pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Larry. Oh, how long is it? Now? Yeah. Well, um, I don't know, school isn't over yet. I need to use the restroom. But school will soon be over and everybody will need to go home. Hey, Mimi, maybe we should stop playing her right now. She probably doesn't want to hang out with us. Ah, uh, come on, Gina. No, you don't possibly think that, do you? Oh, now then, the school is officially over. So, shall we? Um, but we have to be quick about it because I don't want to keep. Our uh, driver, Mr. Will be waiting. Um, do you know that our school station was closed after the fire? Really? Yes, we'll show you. Yes. The only thing you need to do is to be afraid of the ghost they said on first of all. A ghost? Yeah. 
aren't this hallway. Yeah. Seriously. I don't believe in ghosts. Me? Uh-huh. Well, this place still looks... Mimi and Gina! Come on, you just can't do this now! Oh, I Mimi! Mimi! I know you can hear me, please open the door for me, I beg you! Mimi, Gina, I beg you, please open the door for me! Cousin Hillary. Hillary. Is she still busy with lesson? Hillary? Yes. I thought she left already. I mean, we didn't see her after school. How can that be? I've been here for more than 20 minutes. I didn't see her come by. 20 minutes. What are you talking about? Hillary doesn't even know her way back home yet. Yes, of course. Where will she be? Oh, Uncle Obi, I think I heard Vivian's friends inviting Hillary on a tour around the school. I think we should ask them. Please. Are sure? Okay. Are you sure? Well, of course. But since these are friends, I think we should ask them. Of course. Yes. Hey, Gina. Hi, Naomi. Did you see Hilary by any chance? No. No. Yes, are you Hilary. serious? I thought you guys were supposed to go on a tour around the school. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about that? Hilary later refused to go around the school with us. She said she wanted to take a bus. What are you talking about? I don't believe that. But how could Hilary do such a thing? I don't know. Anyway. You guys are going with the school bus, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll go in my car. Are you sure you girls yeah. did not see Hillary? Yes, yes, I'll do so. Well, she was supposed to go out with you girls. But we didn't see her. Come on, let's go. school to pick her up. I was told by her cousins that she left school for home all alone. What? That girl will never learn, will she? I don't understand why she insists on remaining a poor man's child instead of embracing her new status as a billionaire's daughter. Obi, that is not the point. The point here is, what if the poor girl gets lost? I don't know. Where on earth do we start to look for her? What do we do? I think I have to go to the office and, and inform her father. Please go and tell Mr. Jensen about it. Let's go and let him know about it. Somebody help me! Somebody help me! They love me! Somebody help me, please! Oh God! Help me, please! Help me! Help me, Oh, 
I'm back, sir. Yes, you're back. What took you so long? The instruction was simple, wasn't it? Go to my daughter's school, pick her up, take her home, come back here and get me. Why? Did you take so long? Yes, sir. Um, there's a problem, sir. There's a problem? It's about Miss Hillary. I, I got to her school to pick her up. I met her cousins. They told me that Miss Hillary left by herself. She wanted to see if she could get home without the help of the driver. She what? And then what happened? The, the problem, sir, is that Miss Hillary has not gone to me yet. I've gone through all the routes she, she could take to get home. I, I couldn't see anyone that looks like Miss Hillary, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, God. I'm sorry, sir. That's okay. No, no, no. No. You're not for real. You don't have to be better than that. You should be this. Just. Hillary has not returned home from school. No, she hasn't. And I have no kind of information as to her whereabouts. What do I do? Can't you know I'm at my wit's end right now? I'm so confused. Go to the police. Don't you think I should go to the police? At least make a report. It won't be wise for me to just stand here for 24 hours now, would it? I think you should do that and uh, maybe I should come with you. No, 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 it's okay. You have those kids to look after. I'll just um, go to the police station and then fill you in or whatever information I can come up with. All right? Okay. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. Okay. Could you just tell somebody to be back? Uncle Jason. Yeah? Uncle Jason. I, I think you should go back to the school and look for Hillary there. The school? Why the school? I've been there before. I, I have the strong feelings that Hillary may not have left the school. 
are you talking about? They have this abandoned section in the school that is no longer in use. Yes, I know of that um, part of the school that was um, closed down because of some fire outbreak some time ago. Right? Mm, is that the yes. part you're talking about? Yes. We know there are, there are some bullies in the school that sometimes they are unsuspecting new students to that part of the building and lock them up there. And I sort of hear someone telling Hillary that she would like to take her on the floor to that part of the building. You know some of them trying to sound for their sense. I understand you. All right, thank you. I'll just I'll go to the school right away. Thank you. Thank you. Bobby. Move. Yeah, hello, good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, please, can I drive in? I'm looking for my daughter. Uh, sir, the school, the school has closed. Oh, well, I have information that my daughter is being locked up somewhere. Can I, can I just go in and, and, and check my door? Sir, there's no place here anybody is being locked up. Uh, well, young man, I'm not going to sit here and have this argument with you. So, okay, sir, if you insist. Listen, Gillard. Yeah, yeah. Just here. Just here. What? Just here. When? When? Just few minutes ago. Which way? Left? That way? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. yes sir.
It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Come on, it's not okay. It's okay. It's okay, calm down, I know. All right, it's out. Make sure that we know what's going to happen. All right, I don't ever. I will stop shaking. It's okay, it's just a nightmare, all right? It's okay, I'm here. Yes, who is that? My name is Hilary Wakey. Great first time. Good morning, Auntie Doris. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sure you want to hear everything that happened. What? What I can't understand is how can you would allow those bullies in your school to outsmart you? Back in the days when I was in school, Suppose I was as smart as them. Mm. Every single one of them. And I could guess their every move before they make it. And I'll turn the table around on them. Yeah. True to them, I have no for I'll turn the table around on them. You know what they used to call me? The little imp. <laughs> I can imagine that it does. Tell me. How did it happen? Yeah, you can go ahead, please. I, I'm surprised that uh, yeah, we didn't come down for breakfast. What's the problem? No, sir. The poor girl had the scar of her life yesterday, so she deserves to rest. Sir. Yeah, that's true. I, I remember. Even though I've sent uh, Doris with a tray of breakfast to go check up on her. All right, thank you so much. That was quite um, thoughtful of you. Yes, sir. I'm just doing my job, sir. <laughs> sir, I'm sorry. Yes, Yes. Something about those children that had a little children should be allowed to get away with their passion. No, it's okay, Mrs. B. It's, it's under control. I will be going to um, Hillary School today. I'll ensure that the culprits get a proper dress down. So it's it's under control. Thank you. I don't know what is becoming of these children of nowadays. Um, tell my daughter to get ready. I'll be going to her school. I will be just sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry about the threatening imprisonment that you have passed through. But I hope you have learned your lesson that it is not everybody that you should trust. I want to think of it. It's not everybody that wears a smile on your face that has good intention with his or her heart. I haven't, Doris. I sure have. How are you, Mrs. Larry? I'm fine, Mrs. Briggs. I hope you're better now. Your father sent me to tell you to hurry and get going. 
that both of you are going to visit your school. What? Oh, no. Well, I know you won't want to go back to school after what you did to me. But you see, my child, you don't have to run in people. You have to go back with your head held high and show them that you are strong and cannot be defeated. Oh, God. Yes, Miss Hillary. Mrs. Biggs is right. All right then, I will need you to get you ready. And don't rest. Mom, don't keep watching me for too long. Remember that I just want something. No problem, ma'am. But I don't want to go out to Joey's. I don't want to go back to that school. Why? I'm scared. Scared? Scared of what? Those bullies? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're leaving me back. Don't do that. It's not that I'm being Lily Lee than to Doris. It's just that I saw something. I saw something when they locked me up. Really? What did you for? A ghost. I saw I saw a girl. She was dressed in an old school uniform and she had, she had dried blood all over her. She, she even spoke, she spoke with me. It's when it comes down to do this. Ah, you think you got me here, right? <laughs> you thought I was actually going to walk around with you. Sorry to me. That's do this. Believe me, seriously. I'm sure of what I saw. Of course you know I don't believe you. Come to think of it, how am I ever supposed to believe that? Sweetheart, stop all this your fast food thinking I can't try it again. That would be a of Very sure. I'm so sorry, Miss I'm so sorry, Mr. Jason. It was all the guys I did. What you say? Oh, all my ideas. Yes, sir. It's um, Vivian who came up with the plan to lock up in the abandoned wing of the school. Because she said it's a way of dealing with her. How could you? Vivian, how on earth were you able to muster up that kind of idea? Do you realize that this is your cousin? Vivian, do you know that she's like a sister to you? Uh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. I, I didn't mean to. Will you shut up your mouth there, Vivian? You're so you were amongst a set of students that wants to bring the name of the search school to disrepute. I will use the three of you to set an example. You will be facing some punishment and then go on three weeks suspension. Principal, please, no. You cannot suspend me. My mother will kill me. No. My mother will kill me if you suspend me. I've never been this disappointed in you, Vivian. I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. Shut up! I'm so disappointed. I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. To think that someone with the kind of heart that you have is related to me. I am heartbroken. I'm so sorry. Can you hear me? Um. Why? You stupid spoiled brats. Great God that Mr. Jason does not withdraw his daughter from the school and also his benevolence. Else! We shall see the other side of me. No, get out of my house. Get out! You stupid, silly, spoiled brat. Ow! Oh, please. Please don't allow the police to come. 
She, she spent Vivian and her friends. My wife. I'm asking you to tell me why. What Vivian and her friends did to you was bad. And they deserve to be punished for it. So why would you want me to go to the principal's office and then ask her not to punish them? What are you talking about? Well, the thing is, suspending them is not going to be the best solution. After suspending them, when they come back to school, they're still going to hate me the more. They won't even, they won't be kind. That like, please, just talk to her, please. Please, you have to do something, Dad. That's not the best solution. Please, Dad. Jesus Christ. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Vivian, stop the drama over there. When we were coming out from the office, you didn't behave like this. Now you're behaving as if you're the only one that has been suspended here. When you went to beg your uncle to beg the principal for yourself, did you beg for us? No. You're not coming to your head and be suspended for coming. I beg, excuse me. Vivian, you're so selfish. I should not allow you to talk me into treating Eli so badly. Huh? Well, you did, madam. And yes, what? Yes, what? Yes, what? what?
if you get my point, Mrs. Ikeson. You see, my daughter's continuous stay in the school is solely dependent on the decision you take today on whether or not to suspend my niece and her friends. You girls should thank your stars that Mr. Jason, Ibudalo, had a change of heart and pleaded on your behalf. You, I can't imagine what you were thinking to have played such a prank on your cousin. Apparently, you were ready have an evil heart at such a young age. God have mercy. God have mercy on you all. You children already have deserved seats in hell. Don't you know bullies rot in hell? You might have gotten up easily this time. But be very careful. I'm watching each and every one of you. Next time! Do you understand? Do you understand? Now for your punishment. Three of you will wash the toilet for one week. And they have to be squeaky clean. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Oh yeah. Get out. Before I scream to dry my bear. Mighty have fallen. Imagine the Almighty yeah, cleaning up the school mess. How long well can that be on one skin? Hmm. But oh, Dora, this has been right. The arrogance of getting out of hand. I'll just just also that if they are also being suspended from bragging. You're right. That could have just tripped me off to the bits. Make way. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and where do you think you're going? Oh, can't you see that we're still cleaning up? Are you blind? I have something to say something. Excuse me. Why don't you just go ahead and clean up my desk? It's high and all my team. Exactly. I'm so sorry, sir. 
I forgot. You forgot your math assignment? For God's sake, what kind of a student does that make you, Vivian? You're so serious. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. Oh. I can see you're not just an unserious student. You are a very bad student as well. Very bad. Considering the trick that you just played with your cousin here. You see, people don't like bad girls anymore, not even your parents. Okay? So, you just have to do that, right? I promise you, Mr. Chenna, I will love you in spite of you. What do you think you're doing here? I... I was just... Oh. Were you trying to revisit the place of your imprisonment? Mm. What? Do you feel like being locked up again? Mm. I can oblige you, you know, Hillary. I was just... You're correct. This should be the last place I should... Oh, really? Uh, I have not seen you take any steps. Or make any effort to go. Beat it now, Hillary! Hey, Vivian. You're all by yourself. Vivian. What if you friend? Vivian. Those rooms. Vivian, talk to me. Vivian, talk to me now. What is wrong with you? Vivian. Oh, okay. Tell me first, Vivian. Why did Mr. Chenna invite you to his office the second time? Hope you've not gotten yourself into trouble. Because that's what I'm thinking. She's not talking to me. Vivian. Believe me, you're getting me worried with your silence. Vivian! Talk to me. Say something. Are you alright? Oh my god, Naomi. Yes. Oh my god. Guess what I just encountered? Who? Principal song. But a very ferocious fashion of her. You needed to have seen the way she glared at me when, when she saw me going to the building where I was locked up. What? Are you crazy? You mean you went back to that building? What is wrong with you? It was nothing but curiosity. But seriously, I think that woman has a very scary side of her. <laughs> you can't say that. Because she scolded you for going to that part of the building which is unsafe for you. In my opinion, I think she was mad at you. Believe me. Uh, okay, maybe you're right, but hey. What is wrong with Vivian? I don't know. She has been like this ever since she came back from Mr. Chenna's office. I think she's still very afraid of the germs and the infections crawling over her. <laughs> Maybe when she gets home, she will have a bath and she'll feel better. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah, Naomi. Hilary, Vivian. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hello, Uncle B. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? I'm alright. How was good today? It's very okay. Hi, Mr. Hi. Hi. Hello, Miss Hillary. How are you? I'm fine. Are we ready to go? Yes, sure. Take care. Okay, so shall we? Okay. Right. Uh, are you guys to my uncle? Yeah. All right, Naomi. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. The car is outside, right? So, Vivian, tell me, how was the experience of cleaning other people's poop like? I hope you really had fun. You had real fun. 
That's true now. Stop teasing Vivi and believe me, she has been into an audio. Please, just stop. I'm not teasing her. Uh, please, next time you know better than to treat all the people that way. <laughs> Won't you, Vivian? Get out, Nicholas. <laughs> 